It's the Number Jacks on CBeebies. We're sizzling with excitement here because there's just one day to go until Christmas. Merry Christmas from the Number Jacks. <laughs> Extraordinary heroes who are standing by to serve It's a bit cold in here though. Don't worry, number four is just out there working on the heating now. Now that pipe definitely connects up with this one. Ooh. Or maybe not. Now then, Zero, fixing pipes and taps is very tricky, you know. Ooh. And whatever you do, don't touch anything. Left, left. I'm oh, sorry, I mean right. And right. Did it. Never mind now, be alarmed! Come on! Right. That'll have to do for now. Oh, oh. Here. What's up, Agent 20? Things are going wrong, but not for long. I'm the person with problems. Things are going wrong with my Christmas decorations. Getting it on screen. My little sister noticed it. That's very strange. And really bad for you to have a problem at Christmas. Yes, this is urgent. Come on, Five. We're both going out to deal with this. We got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem. Needs a fix. Who's going out there? Five and six. <laughs> Checking it's all cliff launching. Wish them luck, Jasper. All clear. Let's go. Six, five. Three, two, one, zero! 
I'm looking for a five and a six and found them both. Oh, this snow's a bit cold. <sighs> Come on. Snow! I'd love to be in the snow. It's cold enough here. I'm going to check my pipes. Thanks for coming. No problem. More things going wrong. If we don't do something, your Christmas is going to be completely spoiled. Oh dear, oh dear. Someone's flooded the place with water. Oh. Ooh. No, it's not water. It's turned into ice. It's down to zero. Oh. Now my dad's having problem with the wrapping paper. This is definitely a meanie at work. You help your dad. We've got to find where the meanie's hiding. Three, four. I'm afraid there's a bit of a problem in the gym. Never mind that now. You've got to help us look out for any strange goings on. <laughs> buh, buh, buh. This isn't a time for silly noises, Four. <laughs> what Four is trying to say is... Behind, behind you. you! There's nothing there! <laughs> behind, behind you! Behind, behind you! Behind you. you! There's nothing there! Behind <laughs> you! <laughs> it's the shape, Japer! <laughs> On screen! Looks like the shape Japer's back. Shape, Japer, she's really very strange. Shape, Japer, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs. Changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The shape Japer's back. Oh no! Did anyone see which decorations were changed? Agent 77 here. I can spot the ones that have changed. Great! Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game! One on the right. I see it. Sending brain game now. Oh no! What's wrong with the brain game? It's all wobbly and going to one side. I'll try. Oh dear. Not your fault, Agent 77. With the shape japer around, anything could go wrong with Christmas. Ho, 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 she might change the shape of the reindeer's antlers. Ho, ho. And then they couldn't pull Santa's sleigh. Or if Santa did arrive, the shape japer might change the chimney pot. Or, if you were pulling a cracker, it might become enormous. With an enormous bang! That shape japer has got to be stopped. Five. It's an advent calendar. But there's something missing from it. Eight of 49 here. The numbers are missing. That doesn't sound like a shape japer problem. You better look in the back garden. A snowman. That 
that wasn't there when we came in. It's taller than your usual snowman. And it's got a very nice tall hat. And it's got eyes that open. It's the number taker. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, liking as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. Oh no! It must have been the number taker who took the numbers off the advent calendar. He could take lots of things at Christmas. At least there aren't any other numbers around for him to take. Yes, there are. Ah! And our brain gain isn't working properly. <gasps> Hide! Four. We've got to work out what's making the brain gain go wobbly. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope there aren't any more meanies around. Better watch carefully. Oh no! Agents, any ideas who could be doing this? It's spoons going wrong, so... I think it's spooky spoon. I'll soon spoil this Christmas! is taking lots of things. Food that comes in lots. <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Four, three, we need brain gain here. You've got to work out what's making the brain gain go wobbly. Uh... Uh, what could it be? I don't know. Look, look at one and two. They're wobbling and curving to the side. Maybe they're making the brain going go wobbly. Ah. So how do we make straight brain gain? They're wobbling and curving on the ice. Someone's got to go straight instead. On my way. <laughs> Come on, three. Quick. You can do it. Yes, I can do it. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> we need that straight brain game now. Come on, three. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm doing it. I'm going straight. Five and six. We have your brain game. We'll deal with these meanies straight away. Make things the right size and shape. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> You've done it! Hooray! Come back now, five and six. Thank you, number jacks.
And we've got it all on screen. The shape paper was changing the size and shape of things. Spooky was making all the spoons dance. And the number taker was taking food that came in lots. But we couldn't sort it out because the brain game wasn't going straight. Because one and two's wobbling was mucking up the brain game machine. But three saved the day. And the number jacks saved Christmas. And look what's happening in the gym now. Wow! Just in time for our Christmas. Snow. I did get to be in the snow. And I got to be a snow number. And one last round decoration. Left, right, left. Lovely. And all you out there, here's your mission. Have a Merry Christmas! Yeah! Great. Me! 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 I know you can do it, Three. You're just a bit of a small number to go out there by yourself. I'm ready for launching! Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you are just a bit too small to go out there by yourself. Someone's coming back. It must be four. Standing by for your arrival, Four. Checking there's no one around. All clear. Opening the doors. Are you alright, Four? I'm fine. Oh. oh, Four! Four! I've just been... Oh! Don't worry, it'll wear off soon. What happened? I've just been the number four in a washing machine control. And four is fast spin! <coughs> ah! Ah! See, it's not easy going out there. I can do it. I think that's it. I could be a number three washing machine control. Whee! I could do it. Or be a number three on a door. Or be three on a clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Ring-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. I could be anything. Yes, when you're big enough to go out there in the big wide world. You know what that is, don't you? What? Not fair. You all right now? Yeah, except I've got a headache. Oh no! Come on! Wait for me! We've got an A 
kitchen calling in. Agent 33 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Tell us about it. Things are disappearing. Take a look at the cafe. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. Looks okay. What? Loads of things are disappearing. It could get serious. You're right. We're on our way. Okay, we've got things disappearing. One of us has to go out there. I can do it. You're not a big enough number to go out by yourself. <laughs> I've got a bit of a headache. I guess it's going to be me. Good luck, Six. Checking all clear for launch. Let's go! I wish I could do that. Scanning for a six to land on. Found a six to land on. made it. We've got you on screen. Anything else disappearing? I'm investigating now. See that? Same thing happening. Things disappearing. All sorts of different things disappearing here. Need some help to find out why. Agent stringing in to help. Agent 42. Look closely at what's happening. Agent 16 here. See if there's something the same about it every time. Okay, looking closer. There's something there. Look, there's something. Zooming in. I know who that is. I can tell you his name. Yes, tell us. It's Zero. Yes, that's our Zero. Zero, he's supposed to be having a nap. Not out in the park disappearing things. Zero. Checking if he was by the football too. There he is. Zero. So what's happening? It's Zero causing all the trouble and making things disappear. Yeah, and every time Zero shows up, something disappears. It's a pattern. The same thing happening over and over. Zero making things disappear. We've got a pattern. Right. I'd better find Zero and bring him back home before he causes any more trouble. Let me know if you spot Zero. Keep your eyes open, everybody. There he is. Ooh. Get him next time. He's made himself disappear. Six has got to bring Zero back. Well, if he doesn't, anything could happen. Zero might make someone's clothes disappear. Zero. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, traffic lights might.
might disappear. Zero. Or zero might make the dancing cow spotlight disappear. Zero. Oh, and then the dancing cow stage. We've got to sort things out. Oh dear, zero is making zero of everything. My head's aching even more. How can we make things right again? Agents ringing in to help. There used to be one off everything. Yes, one ice cream, one bench and one football. We've got to make it one of everything. Of course. Go and get number one. I can do it. We've got to make it one of everything, not zero of everything. Great. Come on then, quickly. Into the brain game machine. Starting up the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. Your way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Okay, all of you. Think one. 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 One's not very good at this. He's tired. It might be enough brain gain. I'll try. Okay, I'm thinking one ice cream, but I need some brain gain from you. Come on, one. 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 It's working. Brain gain coming your way. Yes! One ice cream! Keep going everyone! Think one! One cup! One jug! One teapot! Come on! Let's make it one football and cheer this boy up! Oh no! Come on one! Come on, like this! No! It's supposed to be one, not three! It's supposed to be one, not three! Sorry! Just the bench to get back now! One last try, number one! Everybody help! One! Zero! Come on everyone! One! Zero! One! Zero! You can. One. 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 Oh no! One's tired out. It's all right. So is zero. And so is the man. Grab zero, quick. We're on our way. Yeah! Yeah! All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. Oh no! Zero might make me disappear! No. Anyway, Zero's far too tired now. You did a great job, Six. Look! All the things disappeared. And we had no idea what was doing it. It was the same thing happening every time. Zero was there. Where's that Zero? There and there. That was the pattern. Zero made things disappear. And then I chased him. Oh, and I tripped over. And then Zero disappeared. But we managed to get one of everything back. Yeah. yeah. Or sometimes three of something. And after a long struggle, everything was back to normal. Yeah!
did the trick. Everything except my head. It still hurts. Well, maybe Zero can make one last thing disappear. Not me! No! Number four is headache. Zero. A headache. Oh, that's better. We'd better keep an eye on Zero. And all you agents out there, keep your eyes open too. See how many things you can find with a zero on. And any problems, call the number jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. You are not taller than me. I am, look. See, taller, taller. That's not being taller, that's jumping. Stand still a minute. See, we're just the same height. Maybe. I say one, say two, say three, four, five. We're the numbers and we're alive. Like your singing fly. I say six, say seven, say eight, nine, ten. Gotta say those numbers all over again. I bet I could sing for longer than you, though. Oh, no. I could sing for ages, starting now. La, 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 What's an agent bringing in to help? Agent 16 here. I think I've spotted a problem. OK, tell us about it. There's a boy having trouble with his pencil. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. See? Pretty weird. Don't worry. We'll be right there. Great. What's the problem? A nice long pencil? What's wrong with that? But why is it growing longer? I don't know. But we have to know what's going wrong so we can put things right. Oh, I'll go and put things right. You're not a big enough number to go out there. <laughs> How about you four? I'm not sure. I'll work the scanner then if four's going out. Oh, all right. Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. Go! Three, you got to check it's all clear for launching. Oh, yeah. All clear! Let's go! I could do that. Three. You've got to find a four for him to land on. Oh, yeah. I can't find a four. I can't find a four. I'll call Agent 16. Agent 16 here. Quick. Get the boy to write a four. Why? We need an emergency number for four to land on. 
Paul's running out of energy. The pencil's getting too long. It's hard to write. He's got to write a four. Come on. He's got to do it. He's done it. We've got a four to land on for. Can you see why the pencil's growing? No. Agent's ringing in to help. Agent 28 here. You've got to know more about what's going on. Find out exactly what made that pencil get longer. Agent 53. Look really closely. Closely, eh? Okay then. Look! Slime! Slime! Not just any slime. A glob of slime from the problem blob. Putting it on screen. If you spot a glob of slime, guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh oh. Great big and blubbery. Blubbery. Great big trouble is the blubbery, snubbery. you can deal with the problem blob if it comes back for? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Well, you need to sort this pencil out first. Oh, Agent's ringing in. That pencil's too long. You've got to make it the opposite. You've got to make it shorter. Short is the opposite of long. The pencil's getting even longer. I'm going to need some help here. Get the brain game machine going. I can do it. Just watch me. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem. Use our brain. Your way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. We need to make things shorter. I got it. Shorter, shorter. Getting lots of brain games. Shorter, 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 shorter. Sending brain games. Yes, shorter, shorter. <laughs> well done, Four. Yeah! You did it, Four. Well, perhaps I'll pop back home now. You'll have to sort out the problem blob first. Oh, will I? Another call coming in. Oh, dear. I've got another problem here. Something else is getting longer. Putting it on screen. Again. There it is. <laughs> it's flattened slime. Where did the slime go? On the mock problem slime. I'm on my way. up there. Oh dear, it's made the man's mop grow longer and longer. get longer. Or the dancing cow might get longer. Or a bike might
might get longer. <gasps> or it might get taller. <coughs> We've got to stop that problem, Blob. <coughs> Sending you more brain gain. Shorter, shorter. I'm going to need lots. Let's get some agents to help. Shorter, shorter, shorter. Now shrink the problem, Blob. Shorter, shorter. Shorter, shorter, shorter. Aim at the Blob. That's really short. Shorter, shorter. That's enough, three. Oh, no. That's too much shortening. Oh. Now what do we do? Think, Think longer, longer, longer. Longer. I don't mind if you do. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Well done, four. You sorted everything out. Yeah? Look. That pencil getting longer. Lucky he managed to write you a four to land on. That's me! It was all that problem Blob's <coughs> fault. Always making trouble, that Blob is. And we all had lots of work to do. But there were lots more problems. Brain Game sorted them out. And sorted out the problem Blob. Yeah. yeah. Did the trick. Thanks to everyone who helped. I helped pick too much. And everything back to normal. Are you sure everything's back to normal? Yes. Look. See? The pencil is just the same length as all the others now. But what about the mop? Are we sure it's back to normal? Yeah, look. He's got a twin brother with a twin mop. See? Same length. Everything back to normal. Those twins were just the same height. Just like you and me. That's worth singing about. La 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 la. Oh la. no! La 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 la. Can you find two things of the same height? Or two things that are the same length? If you can, call the number jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. You can't, Thray. I can do it. Me, me, me. Ooh. I can keep this boing ball going for ages. You can't because you talk too much. I do not talk too much. <gasps> See? I meant to do that. Anyway, we're not supposed to play boing ball in here. 
I'm only playing keepy uppy. It's not like I was giving the ball a big boing like this. Oh no! Playing boing ball in here, are you? No. <gasps> Did the trick. Wow. That's the difference between being a six and being a three. An agent calling in. Yeah. But not for long. A girl has a problem with her marble run. What's happening? It was working well. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. It should be like this. That looks fine. But the girl's marbles are going wrong. They don't work. It's not a very big problem. But it could be the start of something bigger. You're right. I'm going out there. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. Checking goals clear. All clear. One day, one day. Looking for a six to land on? Six. We've got you on the screen. Okay, checking if we've got any more problems. Hey, my bees. Sounds like I found one. Just going to have a look. Problems here. <laughs> That's very funny food. There's something strange going on here, Six. Yes, and we need to know more about it. Can anyone help us think about these things? What's happened to them all? Agent Trini needs to help. The things have all had their shape changed. Agent 101 here. They're all the same shape as this building block. We need to know exactly what we're dealing with. We need a name. Agent 70 here. I think these shapes are called cubes. Cubes! They're cubes! Right. I need to have a closer look at those peas. Try not to be seen. I'll use the menu for cover. Look at those peas. Something's changed them. What? I don't know yet. First, you've got to change them back to the shape they were before. 
But what shape were they before? It's a shrinking into hell. They were all round. They were all shaped like a ball. Anyone know the name of the shape? It'd help. Spheres. Shapes like that are called spheres. Let's change that shape. Get ready to change the shapes back to spheres. Going for brain gain. Brain gain, brain gain, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain gain. Okay, we're changing cubes into spheres. Cubes into spheres. Cubes into spheres. Okay, I better check out the orange. Cube back to sphere. Cube back to sphere. Okay, just got to sort out the marble run now. We're getting signs of more problems with spheres. It's either in the pet shop or in the sports hall. I need to know where to go. Which is it likely to be? Where will there be lots of spheres? In the pet shop or the sports centre? The sports centre has lots of balls. I'm on my way. If things keep turning from spheres into cubes, anything could happen. <laughs> Bubbles might turn into cubes. Or the sun might change from a sphere to a cube. Or down here on Earth, what's going to happen to a football? Hey. Oh. Whoa. 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 There's loads of balls here. I'm getting a signal from near the table tennis. Okay. I bet I know what's making things go wrong. What? The shape japer. On the screen. Looks like the shape japer's back. Shape japer, she's really very strange. Shape. She loves to make things change Changing faces, changing signs Changing shapes every single time Changing shapes is the Japer's game The shape Japer's back Look! <laughs> the shape Japer! Changing all the balls into cubes. All the games are being ruined. Going to sort that shape japer out. Brain game coming. Cubes into spheres. Cubes into spheres. Round those corners. We need all the help we can get.
Done it! Yes! Come on back, number six. Where's six gone? Of course! He's still got the marble run to sort out. I think there's a shape, j on the marble run. I'm going to have to shrink right down to find it. Careful. <laughs> Brain gain! Cube into sphere! Cube into sphere into nothing! <laughs> Done it! Oh no! Get out of there! He's too tired! Thanks! Come back now, Six! All clear for landing! saved you. We help people and sometimes people help us. We've got it all on screen. This is what it looked like. The peas turned into cubes and so did the orange. There's you arriving. Needed lots of brain game to sort all those out. Ah, the shape japer. You had to sort all the balls out. All the cubes turned back into spheres. And then it was you and the marble run. Liked that trick. Well, I'm glad that was sorted out. Ah! <laughs> Maybe we should turn this sphere into a cube. Oh no! Not my boing ball! Well, maybe we'll just put it away safely. <laughs> Safe inside a cube. OK. And calling all agents. Check if you've got any spheres where you live. And if you have, call the number jacks. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, in extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. You're too small a number. You go out and six and four. We're all bigger numbers than you. But I want to go out. You've got loads of things to play with here. Oh, have I? I better get some toys out to play with then. Get my collection of beautiful shapes out. <laughs> You're making a terrible mess. Oh, sorry. Just getting a few things out. Maybe I'll get the boing ball out. Oh, no. Calm that ball down. Sorry, that's out of my control. Three, you've got to tidy things up. Well, I will if... We've got a call. Come on. Someone spotted a problem. I'll go out and sort it. Agent Seventy here. Things are going wrong, but not for long. Tell us all about it. A girl is having trouble with her pencil case. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Tell us.
tell us more. Look what happens when she puts them in her pencil case. They keep popping out. The pen's like being outside. I know how they feel. Shh. Thanks, Agent 70. We'll send someone out to have a look. Thanks. Send me out. Send me out. Well, maybe you can go out. Really? With me. <sighs> and tidy up all the mess when you get back. Of course I will. Well, whoever is going, get going. I'm going. Yes. Yeah. Five and three! Right. You don't have to come, you know. Oh, yes, I do. I can do it. Just watch me. At least we'll get a bit of peace. Checking it's all clear for launching. All clear. Ready? Go! Finding a three and a five to land on. Got some threes and fives. Can you get them both together? I'm looking. Found a 35. That's convenient. Come on then. I'm out, I'm out, and about. Ah! Come on, three. Can they see me back at base? Yes. I'm out and about. We've got a job to do. This is so exciting. Don't worry, we'll soon get this sorted. Well, I'd better investigate. Careful, three. I am not afraid. Watch this. Oh! You did say that you liked being outside. But I want to choose when. I think I can safely say there is something funny going on here. Another agent ringing in. Agent 94 here. There's something going on here. Look. Oh, that's very rude. I don't think he meant to do it. <laughs> Three, five, you better get over there. He's going to get into trouble. It's getting worse. Embarrassing. Maybe there's a link between them all. What's the same about all of these problems? They're all things that have popped out. The things should be in, but they're out. Things you want inside are outside. So we know what the problem is. But we don't know what caused it. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, we've certainly found something. I'm the puzzler. Look at me. You might learn from what you see. We're looking. 
Get ready for a strange surprise. Watch my mouth and nose and eyes. Everything in its right place inside the circle of my face. Now this is a strange thing to do, but maybe somehow it's a clue. It's a bit of a hard clue. Here's where things were found before, but now I've moved them. That's for sure. See you later. The puzzler has made things on his face go outside. And that's making everything else go outside instead of inside. Like the man and his car. He's trying to get in his car. Oh no! He wants to get inside and go home, but he keeps popping out. We got to help this man. And if we don't solve this problem, anything could happen. <coughs> As well as your tongue, your teeth might pop out and chase you. And when you're warm and cozy in bed, you might get popped out of bed. And your whole bedroom might be popped outside. Let's sort this problem out. Oh no, you can't. It's a puzzle bubble. What do we know about the puzzler and bubbles? I'm searching for info on the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twisty mind. His bubbles mean trouble. If you get trapped inside, you better stop thinking. If the puzzler has caught you. Well, if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzle will sort you. Three and five are trapped inside the puzzle bubble. Who is this? Well, who did this? Now let me see. Oh, I remember. It was me. And now, my friends, you are in trouble. You're trapped inside my puzzle bubble. We're not scared of you, puzzle bubble. Aren't we? Tell us your puzzle, and we'll soon burst your bubble. I hope your brains are working well. Will you succeed? Well, time will tell. Look at these numbers. You will see we're missing one. What can it be? Work it out and then tell me, or never ever will you go free. Come on, what number goes in the middle? I don't know. What number? What number? Don't panic. We need some help. Agent's ringing in. Look at it carefully. Look at the puzzle one bit at a time. What are the numbers on each line? Don't let the puzzle worry you, but be quick. I have to hurry you. Quick! In in the top line, there's a one, and a two, and a three. And in the bottom line, there's a three, a one, and a two. All the numbers as well. So what's missing in the middle line? I know. Hey, Mr. Puzzler. Yes. Yeah. Um. I know what it's got to be. That number's three. That number's me. Yeah! What about the pencil case? That's better. Another of my puzzles is solved. So till next time, I'll say so long. What a very strange person! You can come back now, three and five.
All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, 3 and 5. You sorted the problems out. And the puzzler. Remember for next time. Those pens are a bit silly. <clears throat> so was I. Well, that man was very silly. Everything that should be inside was outside. <laughs> Could be a whole new look. Oh, that puzzler was a bit scary. And we were stuck in a puzzle bubble. But we sorted him out. There was a three missing from the middle line. Not the long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did the trick. Not everything sorted in this place. Oh no. You said you'd tidy it up. Oh. Outside, back, inside. Okay, agents. Keep your eyes open for things that are inside something else. How many different things can you find? Any problems? Call the number, Jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. I'm not sure. You can. I'll show you. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> <laughs> Woohoo! I can't do that. Yeah, go on. Or try something like this. Whee! Yeah! Woohoo! Oh yeah! That's even harder! <laughs> it's certainly louder. Oh, go on! Well... Oh no! You'll have to wait. What a shame. Go ahead, 53. Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's a train set. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. It's weird. Extra things keep appearing. See, another cow. Don't worry, we're on our way. Great. Okay, who wants to go? Me! 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 It's a train, though. So? I like trains. Oh, all right, then. Maybe another time, three. Hmm. <laughs> We're sending number four. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to explore. Who's going out there? Number four. Not sure. Checking all's clear. Hold it a moment. Okay, all clear now. Good luck then, four. Off you go.
Scanning for a four to land on. Ah, found a four to land on. You arrive at platform four. He's gone very small. I think it's to match the train set. I'm going to have a good look at the problem. And at the train set. Anything else to report, 53? Well, there's a truck with two sheep in it. One, two. Look what happened when it goes under the bridge. Three sheep? Very strange. What's going on here? Try something else going under the bridge. See what happens when it's a truck with three horses in it. Onto the bridge. Four horses. Horses, cows, sheep. What's all that about? Let's see what happened. On the screen they go. One cow became two cows. Two sheep became three sheep. And three horses became four horses. Weird. Maybe there's a pattern there. Agents ringing in to help. There definitely is a pattern there. First one became two. And two became three. And three became four. Every time there's one more thing. Yes. One more every time. That's the pattern. Maybe. But I'm going to check it. Careful. What are you doing for? He just wants to ride on that train. What's going to happen? We might have two number fours. Or it might be even stranger than that. What's going to happen to me? Oh no! Hey! That's like my body. Now that is weird. I've turned into a number five. How come? Agent's calling in. Four is a number and he's turned into the number that's one more. He's turned into five, one more than four. I'm not sure I want to be a five. I'm not sure I want you to be. At least four would be better at dancing now. I don't want to be better at dancing. I want to be number four. You shouldn't have gone under that bridge then. Agents ringing in. I think I saw another number, Jack. It couldn't be four because he's in the boy's house. The number, Jack, was near the bridge in the park. Scanning to see if we can spot anything. Everyone look closely. What number was it? Look again. It's number one. One more. One more. She's adding one more to everything. She must have been doing it to the train set too. Anything going under that bridge will turn into one more. Look. Four. You've got to stop those people going under the bridge. But I've got to change back to being four again. No time for that now. Get going. Not really used to this, buddy. Be careful. If number one is out there making bridges turn everything into one more, almost anything could happen. <laughs> if the sun rose over a bridge, then there might be two suns. And everything would have two shadows. Or... If a bird flew over a bridge, that's two birds. And if they flew round again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it could go on forever. Four had better get there soon. Hurry up! You've got to stop those people going under that bridge. How? Jump up and scare them. I can't jump that high. You've got a number five body. So? Ugh. So, you'll be better at jumping. Great! Oh, no! Just jump like five would. Okay. You've got to scare her. Here goes. 
Now jump up and scare her away. Yeah! Ooh. Hooray! Oh no! The man! Come on! Yeah! Oh no! One more. There's one more man. One more. And now I've turned from five into six. The number that's one more. This is very weird. Quick! The men are getting angry. You've got to get the two men back to being just one man. How can I do that? Any ideas? It might be something to do with the bridge. Going under the bridge made things one more. Go back under the bridge, it might be the opposite. That's it. Make the men go back under the bridge. And there'll be one less. Back to being one man. I'll get the brain game machine going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. Your way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. One less. One less. One less. One less. We've got to stop this. I can't jump high enough for them to see me. You can now. You're in a number six body. You'll be even better at jumping. Okay. Here goes. Yo wee! Get the bridge ready! One less! 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 Yeah! Whoa! Oh, it's great being a six. I know. Get back and sort out that train set and bring number one with you. Vanessa. Come on, one. Everything's got to go back under the bridge to become one less. One less. Two becomes one. One less. Three back to two. Balance. Fall back to three. I hope this works. I do like being a four. <laughs> and five back to four. Hooray. Come on, one. We're going home. I had a bit of help from other numbers bodies. You're very welcome. And number one, you've been a bit of a nuisance. Ooh. But I suppose it won't be for the last time. We got it all on screen. That train was fun. And you became the number one. A five like me. And that's where the problem was. Can you see one under the bridge? Making everything one more. There goes the man. And one more man. I became a six. Lucky you. <laughs> and scared them back under the bridge. And then one less. Well done, Paul. And after all that amazing jumping, you know what you should try now? I bet you can do it. Well, I'm not sure, but I'll try a bit more. Four, three, two, one! Yes! See? You can do it! Oh, 
Yes. And what can you do? Can you always find the number that's one more than five or one less than five? Try it. And if you have any problems, call the number jack. Is everybody ready for the bloop ball game? Bloop. 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 I'll sort them. In position, please. Oh. This will never work. We can do it. I'm not so sure. Bloop. All right. Pass in the bloop ball. Number one starts. Pass it forward to number one. Go! Blue, blue. Disaster. Keep your eye on the ball. On the ball. What I mean is, look carefully. Let's go. On the ball. One. Now two. One, two. Here, there, left, right. Keep still. Left. Ooh. One, two. I can do it. Three. <sighs> You've made it too hard. Come on. We did one, two, three. Four. <sighs> five. We passed the ball all the way forward. One to five. Oh, good. I'll just pass it back. Yeah! Five, four, now me! Oh no! We didn't pass it all the way back. No time now. Come on. On the ball. What's up? Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's only a small problem. Small problems can get bigger. What is it? It's this boy's model car. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. <laughs> Looks like it's completely stuck. Great car. Not if it's not working properly. You're right, Sixteen. We're on our way. Thanks. Who's going, Six? Well, I thought... Will it be someone who really likes cars? Um, yes. <laughs> thought so. Get ready for launching. Hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Number six. Good luck, six. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Let's go. Wow. 
going to break that car if he carries on. There's six. The car's not going to go anywhere like that. Except into the bin. Going forwards all the time's no good. What way does the car need to go? Calling all agents. Any ideas? That car's stuck going forwards all the time. The first thing is the car needs to stop. I'm thinking stop. That might have fixed it. Need to check what went wrong though. Zooming in. Can anyone see anything? Look closely. Agent's calling in. It's slimy. It's slime from the problem blob. Ah! The problem blob! Looking for info on the problem blob. A glob of slime. Guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh oh. Make big and blubbery. Blubbery. Make big trouble. He's the blubbery, slubbery problem. Who does? The problem blob must have made the car go forwards all the time. We're going to have to sort that blob out. Six, an agent calling in. You've got to get here quick. I've spotted the problem blob. I really want to check that car out. No time now. I'm on my way. We'll try and get the blob on screen. Can anyone see the problem blob? We're looking for something slobbery and blobbery. I'm looking. There he is! Ugh. Watch out for blobs of slime! Oh no! His shoe is making him go forwards! Shoes have gone mad. <gasps> Phew, they've stopped. Looks as though it's all right. Oh no, I'm on to it. I may need some help here. Get the brain game machine going. I'm on to it. Backwards. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Backwards, backwards. Maybe it's all right. I bet it isn't. <laughs> This foot's got to go backwards! Backwards! This foot's got to go forwards! Forwards! Get ready to stop! I 
I hope that's it. That problem blob can make almost anything happen. <laughs> oh no. If all the traffic suddenly went backwards, there'd be terrible trouble. And if you kicked a ball, it would go backwards and it might hit you. Or, if time went backwards, people wouldn't get older. They'd get younger. Let's hope there's no more trouble. There is. Look. You've got to save him. I'll never catch up with him. There must be something that can help Six chase that problem blob. Calling all agents. Any ideas? Need something fast. Get that model car going. going to sort the problem blob out okay build up lots and lots of brain gain all thinking forward 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 Now that's what I call forwards. Did the trick. Come on back now, Six. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. Forwards and backwards. Stopping and starting. I was getting giddy. This is what it looked like. That was a good car. But that problem blob slime spoiled it. Oh, that man was funny. One foot forward. One foot back. Oh, that's painful. Oh, this was a good bit. That was a good car. And a good driver too. Oh, thanks. Now for the problem blob. Great brain game, three. And the agent. Really made that blob go forward. Well done, Six. Watch! We did it forwards, but can we do it backwards? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero! Zero. We did it! No problem. Can you find things that go forwards and backwards? Any problems? Call the number jack. It's my turn. Hover dice, please roll yourself. Oh yes, four. My favorite number of course. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get more than four. 
I'm going to get five or six or seven. You can't get seven on dice. I bet I can. Hover dice, please roll yourself. A six! That means I get an extra go. No, you don't. Roll, please, hover dice. Hey! A one! Right, I got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I got one more. Six and one makes seven. Yes, I win. That's not fair. You're just a bad loser. Hello, seven. I've just thrown your number. Great. Took me two goes added together. But I did it. Seven's going out to do a painting job. Yeah, because I can make the seven colours of the rainbow. Oh, show us. Red. One. Orange. Two. Yellow. Three. Green. Four. Blue. Five. Indigo. Six. Violet. Seven. That's beautiful. Thanks, but I'd better get out there and do some work. Bye. Good luck. Want another game? You'll just cheat again. I did not cheat. I added up. Oh, come on! It is going in. We've got a call. Something going wrong, but not for long. Tell us the problem. A boy's got a problem with his toys. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Extra things keep appearing, like the wheels on his car. One, two, three extra wheels. Pretty strange. But don't worry, we're on our way. Thanks. OK, who should go? There were three extra things, so I should go. No, I don't think so. Oh! For some strange reason, I've got the feeling four should go. Oh, all right then. OK, this is a mission for number four. we got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? we got a problem, do we Who's going out there? Number four! Thing for ready for? I'm not sure. Yes. Checking all clear. All clear. Good luck then, four. for a four to land on. Found a four to land on. Phew! Made it! That boy's looking a bit worried. He won't be for long, soon as four arrives. There he is! Hope we can sort this out. Look at those four Skittles. One, two, three more. We need to work out what's going on here. Could be a pattern. Ada's ringing into help. First time there was four things to start. Then there were three more things. And the three extra things make the number add up to... We've lost Agent 16. Come in, Agent 16. What number do the things add up to? Seven. Four things and three more make 
seven. Yes, there is a pattern. Four and three add up to make seven. We got more problems in the park. I'm on my way. If four things keep turning into seven things, anything could happen. <coughs> If it was someone's fourth birthday with four candles, <coughs> there'd be three more candles. That's seven to blow out. And things that have four sides would have three extra sides, making five, six. Seven. And the poor old dancing cow would have three extra legs to worry about. Oh, it would be a disaster. Luckily, we know what's going on. Four will be able to sort things out. Quick, we need help here. It's okay. We know it's four things getting three extra things to make seven. Is one thing getting extra things to make seven? Another ice cream. Another box. Another tray. Another mop and another bag. Another box. Ah, I think we've got a bit of sorting out to do. Check how many things there are. The cleaner had one mop to start with, and six more make seven. One tray and six more make seven. But what's making these things happen? I think I can guess. The puzzler. Searching for info on the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles be trouble if you get trapped inside. Stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you Cause if you can sort the puzzle out The puzzler will sort you Why are there seven of everything? We've got to think I'll tell you, shall I? Save you the trouble Seven is trapped inside my bubble Oh no! Help! Help! Oh no! Solve this puzzle, or there she stays. What? What is the puzzle? You must make seven two different ways. Make seven two different ways? I can't even make seven one way. You can make seven with a bit of brain game from me. What does three mean? How can she help me to make seven? I'm three, and you're four. So together, we make seven. Sending more brain games. Three and four make seven. Hmm, seems you've got a bit of brain. You've made seven once, now do it again. Quick, another way of making seven. What about the mopping things? That was one and six more make seven. Come on, one. 
We've got some brain game to send. One. And six. Make seven. Sending more brain game. One and six make seven. Oh, thanks, everyone. Well, there we are. We had such fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. Now everything goes back to one. And all the things that were three more. All those things go back to four. Curses, another of my puzzles solved. So till next time I'll say... So long. Come on back, four. Thanks, four. I'm off doing my painting job. See you later. a bit of an adventure. We got it all on screen. That car started it all. Three extra wheels to make it seven. But not as funny as the man with the mops and everyone. That was crazy. All those things making seven. And here's trouble. The puzzler. He's a bit scary. And it was a tricky puzzle. Two ways to make seven. We did it though. Three and four make seven. One and six make seven. Yeah! <laughs> Luckily, we only had to find two ways of adding up to seven. Yeah, we'd never have found another way of adding up to seven. Hard enough to remember two ways of adding up to seven. Yes, thank you, Dice. I can see three spots. That's funny. I can see four spots on this side. Weird. Three and four, two numbers that make seven. On opposite sides of the dice. I bet the dice couldn't tell you the other numbers that make seven, though. Well, I don't know. You better check that out. Can a dice help you find three different ways of adding up to seven? Check it out. And call the number jack. right at the end. See? We're the same. It balances. All right, you can have a go. Come on, buddy blocks. One, two, three. Now, buddies. One, two, three. Come on. Four. Huh. You've got more buddy blocks than me. Well, yes. That's because I'm four, and you're three. Your buddy blocks are just like you. I know. Great, isn't it? I know what I want now. Don't tell me. I want you to make me go shooting up into the air. Oh, no. Oh, go on. You're really good at it. I'm not sure. You can do it. You and the buddy blocks. All right, then. Get ready. Ready. On the count of four. One... Two, three, four! Whee! Ah! Careful, 
three. Sorry. And your body blocks are a bit all over the place. They like it like that. Mine like to be neat. Agent's calling in. Think you can handle it? Of course. OK, good luck. Someone spotted a problem. Agent 53 here. Something's going wrong, but not for long. Tell us about it. There's a boy having trouble with his backpack. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. He's got an apple. What's wrong with that? Look what happens. He's got a problem. This boy need help. We're on our way. I can go. I can go. Well... I've been practicing jumping and everything. Well, OK. But I'm coming too. Oh, all right then. Time to go. Yeah! Five and three! Try and stop me. Checking it's all clear for launching. Don't go at the moment. There's someone on the sofa. We'll have to move them. Doorbell? Yes, please. Finding a three and a five to land on. Found a fifty-three. You made it. Yeah. Come on then. There they are. Just going to check this backpack out. What's the matter with it? Agent 16 here. The backpack has got too heavy. Something's made it much heavier than it was before. Have a look inside the bag. A big heavy bowling ball. How did that get in there? And where's the apple gone? There's definitely something funny going on here. We need to know what. Another call! Quick, we've got more problems at the bowling alley. Where have I seen that apple before? Where did that table tennis ball come from? What's happening? It's ringing in. Things are being swapped over. Heavy things are being swapped for light things. But what's making all of this happen? <laughs> I am, of course. I am. But why? Because I want to. And if everyone's down on the ground, I'm going to be the one on top. <laughs> Was that who I think it 
was. Yes, Spooky Spoon. Here's the info on Spooky Spoon on screen. Uh oh. One, two, three. She's mean. She's bossy. She's very cruel. She thinks she's great. She thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. Because she thinks she is Spooky Spoon. Right. Let's get after her. Stop Spooky Spoon swapping things over. <laughs> Time for some stirring. on swapping heavy things for light things, anything could happen. <laughs> Instead of a hamster... <gasps> you might get an elephant! Instead of a butterfly... <gasps> you might get a cow! And instead of a goldfish... You could get a whale! We've got to sort that spooky spoon out. Oh, you'll never do that. I'm so much better than you. I can stir and stir and mix up things and swap anything I like! I like to see them <laughs> down on the ground. That's the sort of fun I like. <laughs> ah, I think I'll take a little rest. Ah. This could be our chance. How can we get rid of the spooky spoon? How can we get everything back to normal? Any agents with any ideas? Call in! If you jump on the other end of the seesaw, you can send Spooky Spoon back into the air. Yeah, get rid of her by jumping on the seesaw. Yeah, I could do that. No, we're not heavy enough. But that bowling ball man is. He's too busy collecting his bowling balls. But maybe... We could get him to jump on the seesaw. How? Brain gain. Let's get the man thinking about having fun. Brain gain, brain gain to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. Have fun! Jump! Have fun! Jump! Jump! Have fun! It's working! But we need more! Jump! Jump! Have jump, fun! Jump! Jump! Have fun! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now, quick! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 she wanted to be higher than everyone else. She is now. <laughs> That's got rid of her. The children have got their things back. Come back now, three and five. Oh, 
cliff for landing. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Well done, three and five. You sorted that spooky spoon out. She was weird. On the screen. There's the boy. That was heavy. Bound to be with that big ball inside. And that's where the apple went. Watch out! Disaster. All because of spooky spoon. Don't like her. Getting everyone down on the ground. That's heavy. Poor man. Another bowling ball swapped. No wonder he came to get them all back. Just as well he did. That got rid of Spooky Spoon. Hooray! Yes! OK, Buddy Blocks, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Now my Buddy Blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Hmm. <gasps> My buddy blocks want to come on again. And mine. OK, but they've got to make the seesaw balance. Oh. That's hard. You could go that end. No, this end. No. Your buddy blocks go that end. No, they go on this end. So, which end do three and four's buddy blocks have to go to make the seesaw balance? If you know or have any more problems, Call the number jacks. Why is they look here? But they do. Jump. I can do it. I'm not sure. What are the rules again? Look at the pictures. A dog. A cow. And another dog. Now jump to join the two pictures that go together. The two dogs go together. I get it. Try these. Think, then jump. A train. Right. A plane. OK. And a flower. Well, I suppose the plane and the train go together because people can travel on them. Four. What? You're supposed to jump. Oh, I was busy thinking. It's called thinky jump. You have to think and then jump. My turn now. Me, me, me. Ready? Bird. Fish. I did great jumping. But not much thinking. You've got to think and jump. Which things go together? Watch. Apple. Truck. Banana. Apple. Banana. They go together because they are fruit. You can eat them. You couldn't eat the truck. It would hurt your teeth if you tried. I'd try it. You probably would. Agent's calling in. Come on. Someone spotted a problem. Agent 16 here. I think I've spotted a problem. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. There's a boy wearing very strange clothes. 
looks very strange. And there's this girl. Can't see that look catching on. Right. We'd better get someone out there. Five knows about fashion. OK, I'll go. The number jacks are on their way. Hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. Are you ready, Five? I'm fine. Checking it's all clear for launching. All clear. Ready? Go! Finding a five to land on. Found a five. Okay, five. I'm fine. Enough to sort those clothes out. Can you see them, five? Yep. They've got a serious problem with their clothes. What is it? Agents ringing in. The girls' clothes are for a man. The clothes don't go with the person who's wearing them. Right, something has been messing about with these clothes. Another call. Quick, we've got more problems, more things that don't belong. Five, you better investigate. I don't think that little person is actually reading that paper. They're both in a place where they don't belong. This could get very dangerous. Who's doing it? I think I can guess. Look. Oh no! Spooky Spoon! What do we know about her? Here's the info on Spooky Spoon. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean. She's bossy. She's very cruel. She thinks she's great. She thinks she's cool. Five! You've got to stop her! Ah, it's that horrible number jack five. I wonder what you're doing here. I'm here to stop you mixing things up so they don't belong. Oh, really? Well, in that case, you are going to be very disappointed. Because you can't stop me! <laughs> You've got to stop mixing things up. Oh, I don't think so. I think I've got to do it more and more and... <gasps> no! Oh, yes! <laughs> like this. Let's see what else I can mix up. Love mixing things up so they don't belong. Yes, and that's me, Spooky Spoon. We've got to do something, Five. I know. If Spooky Spoon goes on mixing things up, anything could happen. She might start mixing things up so creatures are in places where they don't belong. And a hamster can't swim in water like a fish. The dancing cow is happy grazing in a field, but a shark wouldn't be. 
The birds are happy flying in the sky. Oh, but the dancing cow can't become the flying cow. We've got to stop that spooky spoon putting things where they don't belong. What spooky spoon going to mix up next? How boring. Everything belongs together. Hmm, time for some mixing. Mix. Sit at that cafe for a staff. This is serious, Four. How can Five get things back to normal? Agents ringing in. Spooky Spoon has mixed everything up. Five has to unmix them. Get the things that belong together back together. Stop the mixing. Start the matching. Okay, Five. You've got to get matching. Putting things back where they belong. I'll send some brain gain. Got to get some matching brain game. Think matching. Think matching. Think matching. Match all the sporty things together. You always spoil things for me. <laughs> Good. Match all the food things together. Oh, you think you're so clever, Five? With help from my friends? Yes, I'm clever enough to beat you. But I can go off wherever I like and mix things anywhere. We'll find a way of stopping you. Oh, yes? How? Agents ringing in. Trap her in a circle. Trap her in a circle with other things that match. We're going to trap you, Spooky Spoon. You'll never do that. There's nothing like Spooky Spoon. Nothing that can match with me. We've got to find something that matches a spoon. Quick, any ideas? We need two things that Spooky Spoon matches with. Scanning the cafe. Are there any things that match with the spoon? Anything she belongs with. Agents ringing in. Match the spoon with the knife. Save balls for eating with. Match the spoon with the fork too. Match them. Get them together with a super strong circle. Fork. Spoon. Knife. No! What? You're trapped, Spooky Spoon. Trapped with the other things we're eating with. No! I am not like other things! Oh, yes, you are. You're all things to eat with. You've been well and truly matched. And now I can sort out all the things you've mixed up. Come back now, Five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, Five. 
You sorted Spooky Spoon out. Think she's better than everyone else, but she's just another thing to eat with. On the screen. There they are in the funny clothes. Don't eat it. Not very healthy food. You can't clean things with a pizza. And you can't play tennis with a mop. Spooky spoon! Five sorted her. Everything back matching where it belongs. And Spooky Spoon trapped in a circle with all the things she matches. All the things for eating with. Well done, Five. Yeah. yeah! It's lucky the agents thought of things to match the spoon with. Yes! Knife. Spoon. Fork. We found three things that match. Things that you eat food with. Can you find three things that belong together in a different way? If you know or have any problems, call the number jack. Right. Does everybody know the rules? Yes, yes, yes. I'm not sure. You close your eyes and listen for the bloop ball. Bloop, bloop. If you hear your number, you have to head the ball without looking. Well, it's hard for me, because I haven't got a very big head. That's because you haven't got a very big brain. We'll show you how to do it. Bloop. One. Two, three, four, five, six. See, six bloops. You mean listen, six bloops. Right, your turn to listen. Could be three bloops or four. You've got to listen and count. Okay, okay, okay. One. One. Two, three. Wait. Ah! Hey, there were three bloops. Yes, and then a fourth one. So? You've got to wait for the last bloop. That gives you the number. Is it calling in? Sorry, bloop ball. Got to go. We'll be back. Tell us the problem. The girl's got a problem with her clock. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Can you see the problem? A missing number. There's three and there's five. But no four. I'm missing. Sounds like a good clock to me. Oh, you. Missing numbers are always a problem and can grow into bigger problems. So we're sending someone out. Great! We're on our way. Thanks. OK. Who's going out there? Why is everybody looking at me? Because the missing number was four. So you'd better sort the problem. I'm not sure. You can do it, four. And while you're gone, we'll be the ones who are missing four. Aww. OK. This is a mission for number four. Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to Who's going out there? Number 
for a four to land on. Hurry up, five. I'm looking. Four's got to have somewhere to land. Whoa! Where have all the fours gone? Got a four. On screen. Just in time. Oh. Had me worried, Dan. Sorry, Four. Nearly all the Fours seem to have disappeared. Well, you're right. You'd better be careful, Four. You're telling me. Walk! Ah! It's the number taker. What do we know about him? Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number taker? Taking all the numbers you can't see. Picking, nicking, getting, matching as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, but he's as mean a number taker as can be. Watch out, for, he might take you. Phew! Agent's calling in! You've got to go to that girl's house or the party's going to be ruined! Right, and I'll deal with the number taker... <coughs> ...later. She looks sad. It's because of the clock. Her party's supposed to start at four o'clock, but now we don't know when it will be four o'clock. You've got to sort that clock, Four. I'll do my best. Here goes. Well done, Four. Now she can have her party. She hasn't noticed me. Make a noise. What noise? Like a clock. Uh, cuckoo, cuckoo. Not a cuckoo clock. Birthday card. I'll do it. Oh no, the cake. The fort's gone from that too. Oh no. You'll be all right, for. Oh no. Just keep still, for. He'll be all right now. Phew. Watch out, Four. Ah! <sighs> I need to rest after all that. No time for that. More calls. We've got more problems. Number four is disappearing. No, things disappearing.
What's going on? Why did the bowling balls go? And the parcels? Agent's ringing in to help. The balls went from the bowling alley because there was four of them. The number taker likes taking numbers. Now he's taking number fours. And he's taking four things at the time, like the parcels. Thanks, agents. Things are disappearing when there's four of them. Gotta find that number taker. There he is at the cafe. Better get down there, four. OK. If we don't stop the number taker, anything could happen. The number taker might take the four legs from a chair. Oh, and the four legs from the table. Or he might take the four fences of a field. And the dancing cow might go dancing off. And then the number taker might take her leg. Better sort that number taker out quick. Be careful, Four. I will. Don't worry. Watch out! There's two glasses. Three. Four! Watch out! <laughs> see you. He likes fours. Don't worry. I've got three menus to hide me. Oh no! Four menus! <sighs> ah! He's coming for you, four! Help! What can I do? You've got to make him look for a different four. Quick, what? I've got it! <laughs> We can't send four things. We can send four noises. Think of the bloop ball. Four sounds. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Sending brain games. If you like things that come in fast, number taker, here you go. Now we need four people to sort the number taker out. We can get them. One. Two. Three. Four. Let's see him try to suck up those four. They're too big to take, number taker. He's gone. And things are back to normal. Come back now, four. That number taker is strange. We've got it on screen. The clock was the first thing. And the cake. Careful, four. It's dangerous on a birthday cake. It's dangerous everywhere when the number taker's about. Everything in fours. He nearly caught you, four. Great idea sending the sounds. And then four things he couldn't deal with. Four angry people. Yeah! We did it! Ready, Four? I think it might be your turn. One. Two. Three. Four! Well done, Four. I kept my eyes shut and everything. Yeah. You can count things by looking, and you can count things by listening. Is there any other way you can count things? How can you count without looking or listening? If you can think how to do it, or if you have any problems, call the number jacks.
Okay, we're going to practice our jumping. You ready, Four? I'm not sure. You'll be fine. It's just, there's so many different directions to jump. You're going for four directions. Get ready for the light flashing. Could be in front of you. This side, or that side. Or could be behind you. Okay? I think so. Watch for the flash, and jump. Watching. In front! Great. Get ready again. Side! Keep going! Oh, on the side! Oh, I... This is hard. Quick! Behind! Oh! Never mind. You did really well. Got three out of four. I bet you'll get four. I hope not. Hope I'll get six. I'm going for six directions. Watch! Forward! Side! Side! Back! Well done! Down! And up! Yes! All oh, six directions! That's because I'm number six. Brilliant. Come on! What's up? Things are going wrong. But not for long. Just in time. It's only a small problem. Small problems get bigger. What is it? It's all these boxes. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. That looks all right. It's not that box, it's this one. That box isn't much good. And this one isn't either. Right, we'll send someone to sort this out. Thanks very much. Who's going? This could be one for you, Five. OK. But somehow, I think it's a job for me. OK. Six is going. Get ready for launching. Number six. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. All clear, apart from Jasper the cat. Jasper won't mind. Let's go. Looking for a six to land on. Got a six! Those boxes don't look very good at all. I'll try and see what's the matter with the boxes. Can you see? Calling all agents. Any ideas? Agent 33 here. Box has got one side missing. These boxes need four sides. Okay, anything else they need? Boxes need a bottom too to stop things falling out. Okay, four sides and a bottom. Anything else a box needs? Oh, the top. Okay, 
four sides, a bottom and a top. We can fix that. We got more problems with boxes. You better come quick. OK, I'm on my way. There's going to be more problems. Those boxes look fine. Oh, that one doesn't. What's wrong with that box? It's got four sides and a top and a bottom. What's wrong with it? It's got the right number of sides, but they're all different. The sides are all wonky. They don't fit together with square corners. Wonky boxes don't stack very well. Don't think that's going to stack up either. Oh no! The boxes are all going wrong! What's going on here? I think I know. Look! Oh no! The shape japer! What do we know about the shape japer? Searching for info on the shape japer. Looks like the shape japer's back. The shape japer, she's really very strange. Shape japer, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs. Changing shapes every single time. Shape that shape jape is always changing things. <laughs> and now she's changing boxes. <laughs> We've got to sort this out. Let's get those boxes back to normal. What those boxes need is brain gain. Right. Boxes back to normal. Boxes back to normal. These boxes need four sides. A bottom and sometimes a top. Sending brain gain now. Boxes back to normal. Still got to sort out the boxes with funny corners. More brain gain needed. No more wonky sides and funny corners. Make those corners square. Make those corners square. Sending brain gain. Boxes, 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 boxes. You can stop now, three. Four sides, top and bottom, nice square corners, boxes. We've got too much brain gain now. Oh dear. I think we're going to end up with too many boxes. <laughs> yes, look. Oh no! If things keep getting put into boxes, anything could happen. There might be a snake gets put in a box. A very long, thin box. <laughs> or traffic lights might be put in a box. A very tall, thin box. <whistles> or a tree might be in a box. Or anything could happen. We don't want any extra boxes. We can send more brain gain to Six. Just one problem. What? Where is Six? I've lost contact with him. I'm sure he's somewhere nearby. 
But I can't see him. <laughs> oh no! We've got to find Six. Where can he be? I'm looking. Any ideas? I think Six is in that box. Of course. I'll try and get Link inside. Come on. I'll try that. Can you hear us, Six? Yes, just about. What's happening? There's boxes everywhere, and you're inside one. I know. We can send you some brain gain and try and hit the box from the outside. And I'll hit it from the inside. We can do it together. We've got to get Six out of that box. I'm thinking out of the box, brain gain. Hit the top first. Get rid of that box. Start with the top. Come on, Six. No top. Now the sides. One, two, three, four. And no more bottom. No more box. Great. Now sort out the other boxes. No top, no sides, and no bottom. And one last thing to sort out. No top, no side, and no bottom. No top, no side, and no bottom. <laughs> Sorted that shape, Japer. Come on back, Six. Checking the room's clear. Not even Jasper the cat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. I'm sorry about all the extra boxes. Especially the one you were in. Well, I'm back now. This is what it looked like. Her boxes started it all off. She's got a lot of stuff. That's why she needs proper boxes. A box is no good without four good sides. And the bottom. And sometimes a top too. Those were very strange boxes. Corners not square. No good at all. We sorted the boxes out, but then there were too many of them. Lucky there was lots of air in my box. There was certainly lots of jumping in your box. And we sorted out the boxes. Yeah. yeah. And the shape japer. Yeah. yeah. And everything back to normal. No. It's not quite normal. What? It's too quiet. That's because three isn't around. Where is three? Has anyone ever seen that box before? I wonder what's inside it. Me! Whoa! I'm a number jack in the box! <laughs> oh. I scared you, didn't I? No. <laughs> I did, I did! <laughs> Can you get a grown-up to help you check the boxes in your home? Four sides, a bottom, maybe a top. How many different boxes can you find? Let us know or any problems. Call the number jack. Playing Skittles? Yeah! But we've got to take turns. Oh, oh, all right. One goes first. First. Then after one, it's two going second. Second. And then it's me! Yes, three. <laughs> you go third. Well, come on then, let's do it. My boy.
already blocks are fed up waiting. Right. One goes first. No, that's the wrong direction. Never mind. Me next. No, you're after two. Oh, it's so exciting. Wait for the buddy blocks to be ready. Oh, they weren't ready. Yes, when the buddy blocks are ready, then it's time to bowl the ball. Right, I'm ready to bowl. Ready, buddy blocks? Here we go. Oh, I would have caught some. They just got too excited. Oh, no, oh, no. You shouldn't get too excited. No. Agent calling in. I am excited. So am I. Agent 47 here, something's going wrong. But not for long. Tell us about it. This boy can't blow bubbles. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. What's going wrong? Look. He hasn't got any bubble stuff on there. No point blowing without bubble stuff. Do you want to go and sort it? I do. OK, Agent 47, the number jacks are on their way. Hey, hey. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. <laughs> Checking it's Old Cliff launching. Just Jasper the cat. He won't mind. Let's go! Find a good five to land on. Got some fives. Found a five. OK, five. I'm fine. Time to sort that problem out. What do you make of it, five? There's something he's got to do first. What is it? Agents ringing in. You've got to do things in the right order. Right. He's blowing it first and dipping it in the stuff second. Should be the other way around. Dip and blow. We can sort that out. Another agent. Agent 88 here. There are more problems next door. OK. was completely out of order. <laughs> this is not the right order to clean your teeth. What's making everything happen in the wrong order? I think I know. Look! <laughs> I know that laugh. It's Spooky Spoon. Check out the data on Spooky Spoon. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. Because she thinks she is Spooky Spoon. You've got to stop her. Ooh. 
what have we here? Ooh, number Jack two, isn't it? Number Jack five, actually. Oh, sorry, I'm sure. Have you been mixing things up again, Spooky Spoon? Oh, well, since you ask, yes, yes, I've been mixing things up because that is what I do. I am Spooky Spoon, the greatest mixer of them all. Well, you've got to stop mixing. No. I have got to do, do a more mixing. Oh no! Who's going to be mixed up now? It's all right. He's got his shoes on. But look what he's doing now. You're supposed to put your socks on first and then your shoes. That's not the right order at all. At least he's got his trousers on properly. Oh, no. What's gone wrong now? He's putting his pants on after his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Five, you've got to do something. I know. Anything could happen. <laughs> Instead of turning the television on first and then <laughs> watching it, you might... Watch it before you turn it on. How boring would that be? And instead of getting undressed and then getting into the bath, you might get in the bath first. How soggy would that be? And instead of getting into bed and then falling asleep, you might fall asleep before getting into bed. What else is happening out of order? I'll find out. Going to keep an eye on that boy. Ray, Ray, Ray. Why is that boy so happy? He's doing things out of order. Usually you get happy after doing something. He's doing it before. But what could he be happy about? Maybe he's happy because of scoring a goal. He didn't get very happy about the goal. He's done being happy already. Everything's out of order. That's weird. Well, this man's definitely not happy. He's hurt himself because of something he's going to do. What can it be? I bet... I bet it's cause of hitting his thumb with the hammer. He's not yelling. No. He's done his yelling already. That is seriously strange. Come on, guys, we've got to fix that spooky spoon. OK. Has anyone got any ideas? If everything is out of order, what can we do? Agents. Hope they've got some ideas. Put things back in order. But how? Find some things that are definitely in order, things that come one after another. Can anyone think of things that definitely come one after another? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. You do. What? You three definitely come one after the other. One, two, three. Oh, yes. Of course. One, two, three. Get me some brain game. Oh, yes. One, two and three. They are definitely in the right order. Let's get some ordering brain game going. Are you ready, Fi? Let's go. One, two, three. Things back in order. One, two, three.
Well done, Five! He mustn't hit himself! Careful! OK, all sorted. Not yet. We've still got to sort out a spooky spoon. Hmm, what shall I mix up next? Hmm, shall I make people into grown-ups before they are children? <laughs> oh, that would be weird. We've got to get rid of her. We need a one, two, three that will make that spoon go a long way away. How about like starting a race? Yes, one, on your marks. Two, get set. Three, go. Spooky Spoon, we're going to get rid of you. Never. I'm going to mix you up. Let's do it. One, two, three. On your marks. Get, get set. set. Go. On your marks. <laughs> what? Get set. What is going on? You're going away. Go! <laughs> Hooray! Come on back now, Five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Five. You sorted Spooky Spoon out. It was Brain Gain, the power of thinking. You can't blow bubbles until you've dipped. You put them back in order. You can tie your shoes up and then put them on. Need to get things in order when you're cleaning your teeth too. The man didn't hit himself. And Spooky Spoon got sorted out too. Did the trick. Yeah! Now we've got things back in order, let's finally get the Skittles sorted. Number one. On your marks. Two. Get set. Three. Go! Hooray! And very exciting. Can you do things in order, one, two, three? Can you remember what were the first three things you put on when you got dressed this morning? If you want to tell us, or have any problems, call the number jacks. Buddy Blocks, you don't seem very cheerful today. Buddy Blocks, I'd better cheer you up. Little dance. La 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 la. That usually cheers you up. Not very cheerful at all. Hello, Three. What are you doing? Oh, just jumping around, jumping around. What are you doing? I'm trying to cheer up my buddy blocks. Actually, they're not very lively today. You're right. Are your buddy blocks all right today? Oh yes, I think so. Here they come. They're very lively. As usual. Perhaps they could cheer my buddy blocks up. Of course they could. They'll liven up your blocks, Three. Oh, you've got two lots of three. And they can take your three blocks for a ride. Wow! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Wow! 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 Yeah! Did you enjoy that? That's 
cheered them up. Thank you, Six. And it's cheered me up too. Let's go! We've got to call. Hello, Agent 25 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Look at this. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. This boy was sorting out some wheels. But when he got three wheels, he got three more. Three more again is a bit strange. Strange things are what we investigate. We'll send someone out there. Thanks. OK, who's going to go? Well, there were three things, weren't there? Yes. So it ought to be me who goes. Three, you're a bit of a small number. I can do it. I think you can, but with my help. Oh, all right then, as long as I can go. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Six and three. Good luck, Six. Good luck, Three. Checking all clear for launch. All clear. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Three, two, one, zero. Looking for a three and a six to land on. Finding sixes and threes. Looking for two together. Got a thirty-six! Thirty-six! All right, three. Uh, yes. Come on, then. They made it all right. Better check out what's happening with the boy. Let's have a look. Three more. And three more. How many is that all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three things turning into nine things? That's strange. Another agent calling in. Agent 34 here. More problems at the cafe. OK. We better get down there. Yeah. She's got three things too. It's happening again. It's happening outside too. Oh, oh, we've got to sort this out. Yes, if three things keep getting turned into nine things, anything could happen. <coughs> if you had a birthday cake for your third birthday, suddenly you'd have three lots of three, and it would be a cake for a nine-year-old. Or if Goldilocks was having oh. trouble with three oh. bears, oh. 
Suddenly it would have to be Goldilocks and the nine bears. Aww. And having three babies is hard enough already. What if you had three more? And three more? Nine crying babies. We've got to sort this problem out. What's making everything go wrong? I think I can guess. Look! The puzzler! What do we know about him? On screen now! Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles mean trouble if you get trapped inside. You better stop thinking if the puzzler has caught you. Because if you can solve the puzzle out, the puzzler will solve you. I bet it's you that's causing trouble. Yes, your friend Nine's inside my bubble. You've captured Nine? Where is she? Tell us. I won't tell you until I see. Not six and three, but three, three and three. <laughs> well, I'm three. But I'm six. How can we be three, three and three? Sending out an alert. How can three and six become three, three and three? Anyone who can help us, call in now. Hurry! Agents calling in. You need three threes. Three is the first one. Six has got to change into the other two threes. Can he do that? Yes, remember his buddy blocks. I'll rerun that on screen. Yes, that's six buddy blocks turning into two lots of three. Six can do it! Six, we've got some good news and some bad news. What is it? We know how to solve the puzzle. Good. And the bad news? You've got to turn into two threes. What? You've got to do it. We'll send you Brain Game to help. OK. If it's got to be done, I, number six, will become two number threes. You'll love it! Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game! Six makes two threes. Brain game coming! Six makes two threes. Ah! Wow! You look different. We feel different. Yes, we do. Oh, hello, three and three and three. What exactly do you need from me? Tell us where nine is, or there'll be trouble. Number nine's here. Help, help. Trapped in my bubble. My friends, she stays in there till nine small squares make one big square. Anyone got any information about squares? A square is this shape. All the sides are the same length. Checking the napkins. They're square. All the sides are the same length. You need to get to the cafe. We're on our way. Let's hope they can make them into one big square. There's nine napkins. How can we make them into one big square? Remember the buddy blocks. I think I've got a picture. Yes, that's one big square. Three lots of three. Do it with the napkins. Three rows of three. Make that square. I'll do one row. I'll do the second row. I'll do the bottom row. That's nine small squares. Three rows of three makes one big square. Oh, well done, three and three and three. You've made a square and beaten me. So, as I promised, nine goes free. Better. But I'll be back. 
and things are going back to normal. Yay! Come back now, all of you. One thing to do first, definitely. Two threes make a six. Two threes make six. Yeah! Come on back now, all of you. Everyone. You can see it all on screen. The boy had three things, then nine. The waitress had trouble, and the lady. It was all that puzzler's fault. And I had a very strange thing to do. Six becoming two threes. We had to make a big square. You rescued me. Thank you. And everything went back to normal. Would your body blocks like another ride three? Yes, please. And my body blocks can join in too. Let's go. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Wow. Ooh, two big squares. I wonder, is there any other number of body blocks that could be made into a square? Find out. Or any problems? Contact the number jacks. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to soon. So wherever they are meeting, they are speeding out today. The lumberjacks are on their way. They will help you with your problems. They are waiting for your call. No problem is too big for them. No problem is too small. Beautiful things. I love my beautiful things. They don't do much though, do they? What they do is be beautiful. There. Very good. And beautiful. But not as interesting as, say, uh, the boing ball. You're not supposed to play with that in here. I can if I'm careful. And I'm always careful. Ow! Careful! Oh! Oh no! Oh, Thor! Sorry! Watch out! Ow! Sorry, I'll try and catch it! Whoops! Hey! My beautiful things don't look quite so beautiful now! If you hadn't put them all over the floor, I wouldn't have trodden on one in the first place! All right, then. You can take one beautiful thing away. Right. And it's fair if I take one thing from you. I suppose so. I'll take the boing ball. There we are. La, 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 la. Hang on. You've still got lots of things to play with. Yes. And I've got nothing. It's not fair. You took one thing away, and I took one thing away. That must be fair. But... Agent's calling in. But you don't... I mean, I... No time now. Come on! Four. He's got a lot to think about today. Agent 
28 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. Tell us the problem. Look what happened to this girl. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Nice toys. Look what happens next. Ah! The doll's been taken. Is he going to have something taken? The truck! If things are being taken, we'd better get out there. Yes, thank you. It's not very nice when things get taken away. You know about this sort of thing, do you, Four? I certainly do. Then you'd better get on the mission. Oh, I'm not sure. You can do it, Four. And afterwards, I'll give you your boing ball back. Oh, well, in that case, I'm sure I'm going out. Hooray! <laughs> We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to solve. Who's going out there? Number four. Thank you. Just get my boing ball ready. OK. Are you ready? I'm not really sure, but why not? Checking everything's clear. All clear. Off you go. For a four to land on. Hurry up, five. Found a four. <sighs> That's very strange. Is the four still there? Yeah, the four is. Okay, four's got somewhere to land. Oh. Watch out, four. There's strange things going on. Somebody took the one. Lucky the four was still there. I'm off to find that girl. We need to know what's going on here. Just looking again at what happened. Why did they take the doll? And the truck. Is there something the same about them? Got a feeling it's something to do with that number one disappearing from the door. Both times, one toy was taken. Both times, it was the toy there was one of. One doll, one truck. Thanks. That's very useful. Four, we've got a clue. Good. Whoever is taking things, they are interested in ones. If there is only one thing, that's what gets taken. Yes, and there's more of it going on. One thing being taken. I'm on my way. What's going to go here? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Things are being taken, but it's only one thing every time. And look, I can see who's taking the things. It's the number taker. Be careful, Four. You've got to stop him taking things. 
But we don't know how. We'll think of something. At least it's only taking one thing at a time. If he keeps on taking things, what else might he take? <coughs> We've only got one son. What if a giant number taker took that? <coughs> it would be dark everywhere. We don't want that. It would be much better if he took one cloud. We still have quite a few clouds left to bring us rain. And if we could get the number taker to take one raindrop, we've got so many of them we'd hardly notice one being taken. Yes, that's it. What is? If we can't stop the number taker taking things, at least let's get him to take things that there are lots of. Then it won't matter so much. I'll get some brain game going. Four. What's the plan? The plan is to stop the number taker taking things when there's only one of them. I'll track him down. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. No taking if there's only one. No taking if there's only one. Not if there's one. Not if there's one. There he is. I'll get the brain game into his mind. No taking if there's only one. No taking if there's only one. I think it might be working. Looks like he's going for one of the balls. That's OK. At least there's a few of them. There's four of them. <sighs> he's taken a ball, but there's still three left. The man can still do his juggling. Hooray! Oh, no! He's taking away another one. He's taking one thing at a time. But he's doing it lots of times. There's only two balls now. At least he won't take away the last one. It's not exactly a great show now, though. Poor man. <laughs> Where's the number taker going now? He's heading for the cafe. He's after that fruit again. There's quite a few grapes. If he takes them one at a time, at least it's going to take him a long time. Not if he does it very fast. That meany number taker. He's taken nearly everything one by one. We've got to make him take things that there's so many of, it will take him too long. Any things in the cafe that there are lots and lots of? Anyone got any ideas? There are lots of grains of sugar. Yes. Four, spill the sugar. Grains of sugar. Lots and lots of grains of sugar. He'll go loopy trying to take the sugar one grain at a time. It's very hard. He doesn't like it. He's heading for the builders. Anything there that there's lots and lots of? Grains of sand. Grain of sand. Grains of sand. He's really struggling. He's going to the park. Anything here that there's lots and lots of? Blades of grass. Blades of grass! Lots and lots of blades of grass! There are lots and lots and lots of blades of grass! He'll never take them all. That sorted him out. Come back now, Four. Done for. That number ticker is strange. It's all on screen. 
the number taker was only taking one thing. There was one doll and one tractor. We had to get him to take things there were a few of. And he took the juggler's balls, but he kept on taking them. Like he took the grapes, because there were a few of them. I'm going to spill the sugar. Yeah! And the number taker couldn't take lots and lots of grains of sugar. Or the sand. Or all those blades of grass. Hooray! That sorted him out. Yeah! yeah! And everyone got their things back. There you go, Four. Your boying ball back, like I promised. Thank you. And here's your beautiful thing. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, no! One last thing. Is there anything on your body that you've only got one of? And is there anything you've got lots and lots of? Have a think and call the number jacks. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to sing. So wherever they are in, they're speeding up today. The number jacks are on their way. They will help you with your problems. They are waiting for your call. No problem is too big for them. No problem is too small. Right, I'll go first. Why you? All right, you go first. As long as we take turns. Hover dice, please roll. Oh, not very many. One, two. My turn. Roll, please. Four. My number. Very nice. One, two, three, four. Me, me, me now. Huh? One. Roll, please. Five. Very good. One, two, three, four, five. You've got a bit of catching up to do. Yes, I have. Roll, please. Huh? One. Roll again. What? It's not your turn. So? Huh. One, two. We've got to take turns. Don't see why. Roll. Four. That's good. Taking turns is fair. Not taking turns is fun. Roll. Hey! Brilliant. No, if you don't take turns, everything goes wrong. It's going all right for me. It can't be you, 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 and not me. You've got to take turns, three. Well, maybe next time. Come on. Of 14 here. Things are going wrong. Pat, not for long. Look at this boy. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. Watch his legs. It's all one leg and not the other. It means he can't walk properly. OK, who's going out there? It must be my turn. Ha! Huh. Five, you up for it? Yeah. OK, get ready for launching. Hey, we've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five!
ready for lunch. Checking the room's empty. Oh, wait! Someone's there! Okay, they've gone. Let's go! All clear. Let's go! Looking for a five to land on. Finding a five. It's 55. Can land on either five. There he is. How's he getting on? Still just using one leg. Maybe his other leg doesn't work. Yes, it does. He's still having trouble. Agent 47 here. Both legs are working, but not at the right time. Agent 73 here. His legs should take turns. Left, right, left, right. He's going left, left, left. Right, right, right. It's a different pattern. I get it. Should be left, right, left, right. And it's left, 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 right, right, right. Things getting weird in the cafe. She should put down a knife, then a fork. Knife, then fork. At least the cuckoo clock's all right. Oh, no! What's making everything go wrong? I think I can guess. Look! The puzzler! <laughs> Checking out the info now. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler! The puzzler! Got a twist in mind. It's bubbles in trouble. If you get trapped inside, you better stop thinking. If the puzzler has caught you, because if you can solve the puzzle out, the puzzle will solve you. He's got a mean face. Come follow me to the pattern place. In place. Where's that? We'll find out. This is a strange place. Five. There's something on that table. This is how I set the pattern. With reds and blues, I make things happen. I've made it red, 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 then blue, blue, blue. So to make things right, what will you do? We've got teachers ringing in. Pieces make things happen in a pattern. Red, red, red. Left, left, left. Blue, blue, blue. Right, right, right. You gotta change the pattern to make it left, right, left, right, left, right. So I change the pieces to... Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Well done. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. That pattern should put things right. 
Red, blue, red, blue, left, right, left, right. Knife. Fork. Knife. Then fork. You've done quite well, I suppose it's true, but I've got one more puzzle for you. Can you guess what people will do when it's red, red, blue, red, red, blue? It's ringing in. If the pattern changes, what people do will change. Red, red, blue, red, red, blue. That's how they'll do things. Two of one thing, then one of the other. Final answer? Well, let's see if that is what the pattern will be. Red, red, blue, knife, knife, fork. What will the cuckoo clock do? Red, red, blue. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, are you happy now? There's one more game for you to play, but first you must turn your face away. Let's add a little mystery. I move the pieces, but you can't see. Check what people do, and then tell me, in what pattern must the pieces be? Everyone look at what's happening and see what the pattern is. Knife, knife, fork, fork. Five. The pattern is two of one thing and two of the other thing. OK. So let me think. What will the pattern pieces be? It's two of one and another two. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Indeed, that's true. Two reds, two blues is what they do. But not anymore. We're putting things back to normal once and for all. Brain game, back to normal. Red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Knife, then a fork. Knife, then fork. <laughs> you number jacks, you are a pain. You've gone and beaten me again. Yes, you've lost, so off you go. I'll be back again, you know. <laughs> yes! Now come back, five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, five. Well done, all of us. Check it out on screen. That boy couldn't walk properly. And things weren't going well in the cafe. And it was the puzzler causing all the trouble. That was a weird place. There are the pattern pieces, making things go wrong. We sorted them out again, but we had more puzzles to solve. We knew what people would do when the pattern pieces changed. And then we worked out the pattern by watching what people did. And we beat the puzzler. Hooray! Would you like another game for? That depends. Are we taking turns properly? I think a good pattern for our game would be pink, 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 blue. And I'll be pink. I don't think so. Look. Oh! To make sure we don't get it wrong, the buddy box have made the pattern. We take turns. Fair enough. Let's do it. Glad that buddy block pattern sorted things out. And can you find a pattern like the buddy blocks? Two colours taking turns? If you can, or any problems, call the number jack. Extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see.
moving around. I am moving around. Not like I'm moving around. Three, the music stopped. It's supposed to be a statue now. Oops. <laughs> it's still moving. Well, so are you. You're wobbling. I'm not wobbling. I'm as still as a star. I won. Not fair. Let's play again. Oh, look. Zero wants to play too. Come on, Zero. Come and join us. When the music plays, you have to move. And when the music stops, you stand as still as a statue. OK? Hmm? Music, start! Off we go! You have to move now, Zero. Watch me! You didn't stop in time. I won! No, Zero won. Look at him. Wow, that is a cool freeze. Well done, Zero. You're really good at this. Music, start. You can move now, Zero. Zero, are you OK? He looks like a real statue. What's the matter with him? Zero, can you hear us? Say something. Hmm? Thank goodness. Had us worried there. He wasn't really playing at all. He was just thinking about nothing, I suppose. Someone's calling in. Let's go. Come on, you two. An agent spotted a problem. It's Agent 34. Something's going wrong. But not for long. Some stuff has stopped working. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> His car stopped. His robot stopped working. Now this car's got stuck. Fancy a trip, Six? Don't mind if I do. OK, Six is going. Preparing for lunch. Hey, hey, we've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem, need to fix. Who's going out there? Number Six. <laughs> Just checking the rooms, Claire. Claire for lunch. for a six to land on. Found some sixes. Got one. Did the trick. It's getting stranger. On my way. Look at the blocks. <laughs> and the pencils. And this book's spinning. Now that's really weird. So in this room, you've got a remote control buggy, a wind-up toy and a car on the garage ramp. And they're all stuck. And we've got building blocks, pencils and a book that are hopping all over the place. Agent's ringing in. Agent 52 here. Something's gone wrong in the park. 
the roundabout won't spin anymore. It's not much fun now. On my way. Oh, no. Not more problems. Check out this cafe. Things on the table are moving about. His sausages are dancing. Look at this, it's a very funny bin. It's chasing him. I'm here. Things are stopping and going all over the park. That little bin spooky. It's spooky. I just said that. No, it really is spooky. Look. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm back. Spooky Spoon! Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean, she's bossy, she's very cruel. She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool. She's only plastic, but she thinks she's fantastic. But does she think she is? Spooky Spoon! Right, I'm going after her. If she keeps mixing things up, anything could happen. <whistles> Spooky Spoon might make the birds stop flying when they're in mid-air. She might make the dancing cow stop dancing. And then she'd just be the cow. And if you were moving house, Spooky might make the house move with you. We've got to stop Spooky. Before she stops anything else. Too late. Look at this lot. Mad round here. I can't find Spooky Spoon anywhere. There she is. Oh, I'll have a nice rest on the roundabout. Oh, so peaceful. Since I made it stop, no one else has been near it. <laughs> we'll have to sort her out later. First, we need to try and get everything back to normal. Brain game. Hello, Zero. Got to get this machine going. <sighs> brain game, brain brain to solve the problem. Use our brain. Your way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Make the moving thing slow down and stop. Put something on a machine that doesn't move very much. Think, think. What doesn't move much, Zero? Hmm. Of course, you! Right, Zero. See if you can make these things as still as statues. Like you. Watch that pointer on the machine. When it touches Zero, the stopping brain gain will fire off. Ready, Zero? And go! <sighs> it's working, look! Keep doing nothing, Zero! Brilliant! What's next? Say no more. Right, Zero. This is the big one. Hmm. Hurry up! We're nearly there. Come on, Zero. <sighs> OK. 
Now how do we get the other things moving again? How about something in the machine that never stops moving? Yes! Me, me, me! I can do this. You've got to get the arrow up to three, OK? No problem. Done it! Now for the street in the park. She's on a roll. Here comes the brain game, Sex. Yes, and now the roundabout. Watch out, Spooky's there. Here I go. What? What is going on? Three. Can you make it go any faster? We might be able to get rid of Spooky if you can. Getting tired. Help her, everyone. Faster, faster. Go faster. Faster. Fast as you can. <laughs> yeah! Did I do it? You did fine. Come back, Six. All clear for landing. Six. You sorted that spooky spoon out. I couldn't have done it without three. She was fantastic. And Zero, he helped too. Mm, yeah. Let's see it all on screen. In the house, some toys got stuck. And some that shouldn't move started moving. I went to have a look. Then other strange things happened. Roundabout got stuck. The scooter, bike and car too. It was Spooky Spoon. And she was mixing up other things too. She made the man sausages dance. And she made the litter bin chase the poor man. Funny. But we sorted everything out. Zero and three had to work very hard. And we sorted Spooky Spoon out too. So three, want to play musical statues again? Now that's something you don't see every day. I'll play with you four. Come on. Can you find three things that move by themselves? And three things that don't move at all? And any problems, call the number jacks. It three. Sorry. What's the problem? Oh, I can't find it. Can't find what? Three's lost one of her slidey shapes. I can't find it anywhere. Not surprised. They're all over the place. I'm just playing with them. Let's help her look. Okay. As long as she stops flinging them my way. Okay. What does the slidey shape you've lost look like? It's a circle shape. Um. Is this it? No, that's a blue circle. I mean a yellow circle. You know, like the sun. Right. Let's sort out all the yellow things here and see if there's a yellow circle anywhere. OK. Not yellow, not yellow, not yellow. Three. Yellow. Oh, not a circle, though. Three. 
Not yellow, not yellow. Three. What? Look. It's yellow and it's a circle. Hooray! I found the slidey shape. And I did it all by myself. Six and I helped you. Well, maybe a tiny bit. Three. That's the alarm. Race you. the problem. Agent 88 here, something's going wrong. But not for long. Tell us about it. Things are going missing. I'm putting it on screen. What's gone missing? Some of these building blocks, some pens and some paint. So who's going to go? Me, me, oh please me! You go for. You found Three's yellow circle. Maybe you can find that girl's things. Mm, I'm not sure. I am. I'll go. Need you here, Three. Oh. Need you to work out what's going wrong in that room. You're good at that. Yes, I am, aren't I? Let's go then, Four. <laughs> Checking it's all clear for launching. The goldfish are watching. Don't worry about them. They forget things very quickly. All clear then. Finding a four to land on. Found some fours. Got a four. Clear to land. Phew. Made it. Everything seems okay at the moment. Keep your eyes open, four. Things going missing. Is there something the same about the moon? I know, I know. They're all yellow things. You're right, three. Well done. I'm clever, aren't I? Another call. Strange things are going on by the river. On my way. Well, I think someone's up to no good. And I think I know who that someone is. <laughs> Spooky spoons here. <laughs> Yellow. Ooh, that's got to go. <laughs> You'll have to find a way to stop her, Four. Here's the data on Spooky Spoon. On screen. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's mean. She's bossy. She's very cruel. Right, I'd better try and find out where she's gone now. Look what's happening in the sports hall. And outside in the park. to take in red things. But why? Oh, tell you why. I am tired of all these lovely colours in the world because they make me look boring. Boo! What a meanie. <laughs> 
just try and stop me. <laughs> Here I am. No sign of spooky though. You've just missed her. She's taking red things now. The agents are back. Calling all number jacks. We're losing blues. The blue shirts have gone too. They can't play anymore. No one knows which team they're on. Oh no. If she goes on taking all the colours from the world, just think what might happen. <coughs> no more beautiful red roses. No more green grass or leaves. No more blue sky. And no more bright yellow sun. It'll be a very dull world. I just thought, if Spooky's taking blue things, then what about me? <laughs> yes! It's time to take you, Mr. Blue. <laughs> She's taken four! She's taken four! Okay. We, we mustn't panic. She's gone too far this time. Getting the park for him now. I hope he's okay. I can't see him anywhere. Agent's ringing in to help. We need to put Blue back into the world. And that will get four back. We'll need brain gain. Brain, brain, the problem. Use our brain. Ways to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain, brain. Think blue, everyone. Blue like the sky. Blue like the sea on a sunny day. Here it comes. There he is. But he looks funny. We need something extra blue in the machine. Something blue like four. I know. Four's buddy blocks. I'll get one. Brilliant, Three. Where am I? Thanks, Three. Now, everybody, think blue again. Blue like number four. Blue like number four. Blue like number four. Blue like, blue like number, number four. Here comes the brain game. Hooray! Am I back? You are, and you've got to get all the blue things back. Okay. Now where else do we need some blue? Started. Are you okay? I think so. Good. We need you to help get the other colours back. And we've got to sort out Spooky Spoon. If she wants colours, send her lots of colours. Send them all together. Brilliant! Three, bring everyone's buddy blocks over to the brain game machine. What's going on here? Hurry up. I don't want to be Spooky Spooned again. Now, imagine as many colours as you can. Yellow, red, blue, orange, green, purple, pink. That's it. Here comes the brain game. Oh, so many lovely colours. <gasps> Which one suits me best? Uh, oh, pink. Orange. Oh, purple. Oh, I look lovely in all of them. Um, oh, this one. Oh, there's that one. Oh, I can't decide. Red, yellow, uh, rello, blello, rello, blue. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Bye-bye, spooky. Well done, Four. 
And are the missing yellows and reds back? Scanning now. All the yellow things are back. And all the red things are back. Great! So now we can have four back. Come home, four. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Phew! Am I glad to be home. Well done, four. You were very brave. And we really sorted Spooky Spoon out this time. It was tough going though. On the screen now. Lots of things were going missing. And they were all yellow. I went out. It was Spooky taking the yellow things. Then she started taking red things. And the blues. And then she took me. Four's body block helped rescue him. And then we sorted Spooky. She couldn't make up her mind what colour to be. And we got all the colours back into the world. Another good job done. Look you two. I've put all the slidey shapes into groups. Red ones here, yellow ones here, blue ones here. Now it's much easier to see where everything is. Well done, three. Don't they look tidy? Just one thing. There's a blue slidey shape here with all the yellow ones. Oops, better start again. Stop! No need to mess them up again. There. All sorted. Thanks, four. Can you find three things? A yellow thing, a red thing, and a blue thing. Check your colours and call the number jack. Hi, Three. What have you got there? One of my beautiful things. Beautiful. It's my best one. Best. And look, it can turn into two beautiful things and then fit back together again. It's great, Three. Great. I know. And I love it. I want it. Uh-oh. I want it. You can have this. No, this. Two, bring it back. It's mine. No, mine. Oh, no. There you go, three. Thanks. <clears throat> hey, two, let's go and see seven. Oh. We could do some painting with her. Me paint? Yes. You like painting, don't you? It's all right. You're safe now. Oh, someone's got a problem. I'd better hide you somewhere. You'll be all right there till I come back. Three, where are you? Coming! Here, something's going wrong. But not for long. What's up? Look at this picture. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. Did 
Did she paint it like that? No, it was a whole face when she painted it. But now part of it's gone missing. How odd. And look at the fruit. Looks like that orange has been cut down the middle. But where's the other part of it? And the disc too. What's wrong here then? Look at that lunchbox. We'll send someone right away. OK, thanks. I'd love to know what's happened to all those missing pieces. You go today then, Four. Maybe you can solve the mystery. What? Oh, no. I'm not sure if we can. Of course you can. Oh. Hey, we got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We got a problem to Who's going out there? Number four. It's all clear for launching. All clear. Nobody about. Ready for... Finding a four to land on. Got some fours. Found a four. Phew. I'm glad that bit's over. Bits of the sandwiches are disappearing. We've got another call. Agent 47 is something strange in the cafe. On screen now. That's a funny tablecloth. Part of it's been taken away. Like all the other things we've seen today. And it's a different shape now. I'll see what I can find out. Part of her pizza just went missing. What's going on today? Have you noticed, when bits of these things go missing, the things change shape? She's right. Oh no. If things are changing shape, you know who might be changing them? Psst. The shape chamber's here. I was afraid she might be. I'm outside the spot centre. And if you look up there, Above the door, you can just see her. How did you find her? <laughs> Not difficult with that laugh. Let's see what we know about her. Looks like the shape chamber's back. Shape, shape her, she's really very strange. Shape, shape her, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs, changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The Shape Japer's back. We know the Shape Japer loves to change shapes, but why has she been taking parts of things away? I wonder what she'll get up to next. You've got to try and stop her for. But how? <laughs> I'm glad she's happy. It's Agent 96 here, there's trouble with the table tennis. On the way. They've lost part of their ball. Some of their net's gone too. And she's lost half his trousers. What did you just say for? 
That man's lost half his trousers. Half his trousers? And half a ball and half of the net. So that's what the shape jape is doing. What? She's taking away a half of everything. Oh dear. If the shape japer keeps on taking halves of things, anything could happen. <laughs> People would be left with only half of their favourite storybooks. And they wouldn't be very comfy if their beds were half beds. And what about the dancing cow? Half a dancing cow would only have two legs. And she'd fall over. We've got to stop the shape japer's halving trick. And how can we get all these half things back to whole things? Agents ringing in to help. We've still got one half of all these things. They all need two halves to make them whole again. Can you do it with brain game? But what could we use to make two halves of everything? I know. Number two. I'll fetch him. I'll get the machine going. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Go on, two. Have a good jump around. Me, jump. Two, two, two. Two, two. two halves make a hole. Two halves make a hole. Here comes the brain game for... Everyone together! Two halves make a hole! 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 Whee! Back to normal. Well done, Four. Just one thing. Where's the shape japer got to? There's an emergency in the party room. On my way. The shape japer's spoiling the party. She's gone too far this time. I'm going to find her, and I'm going to fix her. He's really cross, isn't he? I hope he doesn't do anything silly. Put the brain game machine into reverse. That's done. What's your plan for? She's over there. See? We're going to make a whole thing into two halves. Brilliant. Jump two! Jump, jump, jump! One hole makes two halves! Louder! Agent two! One hole makes two halves! One hole makes two halves! Here it comes! Back to normal. Come back now for... You bet. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. It's got to be back. Nice work, Four. You were great.
Let's see it all on screen. Parts of things were going missing in a house. I went out to have a look. Then parts of things went missing in the cafe. And in the sports centre. The shape draper was taking half the things and changing their shape. We sent brain games to make the half things back into whole things. Two halves make a whole. But then the shape draper spoiled a party. She took half the birthday cake away. You were really cross, Thor. So we split the shape draper into two halves. She didn't like that. Bye bye, shape draper. And a happy ending at the party. Here I am, my beautiful thing. Have you missed me? I want it. Oh no. Please me have it. Well, you were very good on the brain game machine, so... You can have half and I'll have half. Just for a little while. Beautiful. It is, isn't it? That's really kind of you three. OK, out there. You need to know about half. Can you fold a piece of paper exactly in half? Not easy. So any problems, call the number jacks. I think so. I'm not very good at keeping up either. You'll be fine. Here we go. One. Two. Well done. Three. Four. Wow. Five. Eight. What? Two put me off. It should have been six, and he said eight. Eight. Never mind. We're good at this. We'll start again. One. Two. One, two, four, seven. Three, keep going. Three, five, nine. I can't do this if two keeps saying all the wrong numbers. One, two, three, five, ten. Two? Why don't you go and play somewhere else? One, three, seven. Off you go. We'll play with you later, all right? One, two, four, six. Do more counting. That's better. Come on then, we can do this. One. Two. Three. Four, yes. Five. Oh, we were doing so well. Never mind. Someone needs our help. Come on. Can we play again later? I'm good at keeping up it. Page on 96 here, something's going wrong. But not for long. Tell us about it. This boy is having problems. Putting the house on screen. There's a boy playing a game. He spun a five, so he should be moving five spaces. One, five. That's not right. He'll never win if he doesn't move all five squares. We'll send someone right away. Great, thanks. I can count. I'll go and sort that boy out. No, even you get your numbers wrong sometimes. I do not. You'd better go, Six. You can count up to really big numbers. OK, I'll go. I can count better than you four. Can't. Can? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Preparing for lunch. Hey, hey, we've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem. Need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. 
Checking all clear for launch. All clear. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Finding a six to land on. Got some sixes. Found a good six. Huh. I'm here. Now, let's see what's happening. One, two, five, seven, twelve, eighteen, three. That's not proper counting to three. We've got another call. 861. There's problems in the cake shop. She asked for four cakes and the lady is counting them. She's having trouble counting too. That's more than four. What's happening to these people? Maybe there's something by stopping them counting properly. Or maybe someone is stopping them. Check what happens. Can anyone see anything odd? It's two who's making the counting go wrong. And I can guess where else two has been. Everyone look for two. There he is. One, two, five, eight, sixty-three, thirteen, four. No wonder the cake lady couldn't count. Whoops. Number six. Can you hear all this? Certainly can. I'm on my way to the cake shop now. Agent's ringing in. Trouble in the park. It's all go today. I'll go and find him. They're going to play tennis. Watch out. There's two. One, six, twenty, five, eighteen. Oh no! Too late! She thinks she needs eighteen rackets. But she's only got two. I'll get after two. I can't play tennis like that. If this goes on, anything could happen. <coughs> you might get the wrong number of candles on your birthday cake. So instead of being five, you'll be six or seven or eight. Your favourite <coughs> stories might go wrong. Whoever heard of Goldilocks and the Four Bears? And instead of having four legs, 
The dancing cow will have five or six or seven or eight legs and have as many legs as a spider. Two's disappeared again. Oh, no! Eight are ringing into hell. People can't count because two was confusing them. They all caught two's funny counting and started counting like him. So, how do we sort it all out? What if we count the right numbers for them? We need some brain game for this. I'll do it. And I'll get in the house. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Right, everyone count together. We'll start with the board game. Brain game machine ready? One, two, three, four, five! One, two, three, four, five! Did the trick! Off I go! We'll keep the counter going here. How many cakes did they want? Four. One, two, three, four! One. Two. Three. Well done, everyone. <whistles> it's getting sorted out. One, two. Only needed two rackets. Well done, six. More trouble in the kitchen. I'm on my way. He needs ten spoonfuls of flour. I have a bad feeling about this. There's two. Hurry up, six. Thirty, fifty, a hundred. Where did two learn big numbers like that? A hundred spoons of flour will be a terrible mess. Get that brain game going. Here it comes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! I'm here! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hooray! Found you at last. Hello. Come back then, Six, and make sure two comes with you. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, Six. I did some counting. You certainly did. And look what happened. On the screen. Two's crazy counting meant trouble with the board game. They couldn't count the cakes. And that poor old coach couldn't count at all. Lucky we could count. Yes, very lucky we could count. And me. I think two really thought he was helping. Two count again. Go on then, two. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See? I don't believe it. He's learnt to count. He counted from one to ten. And no mistakes. Hooray for two. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> can you count? What's the biggest number you can count to? Have a go and call the number, Jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, an extraordinary hero who are standing by to see. Block six. I can't find them anywhere. That's funny. I've lost mine as well. I can't find my buddy blocks. Neither, Neither can, can we. we. Where can they be? Maybe they've been grabbed by the shape japer. Oh no! Only joking. But they might have gone off somewhere on their own. Oh no! I want my buddy blocks. Don't worry. I know where they are. Where? Well. Buddy blocks can make a bit of a mess, so I've tidied them away. Here they are, mine as well. See how tidy they are? And they've filled this box right up to the top. You took our buddy blocks? And tidied them away? Without asking? I, th I thought you'd be pleased. They look very cosy. They might not want to be cosy. Come on, my buddy blocks. Oh. And mine. And mine, come on. They're all getting out. Oh. You shouldn't have done that for. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to upset them. My buddy blocks love being in their box. Look. What a shame. This box was full before, and now it's nearly empty. Never mind. Your buddy blocks will have plenty of room now. And we've got our buddy blocks back, so everything's fine. Or maybe not. Someone needs us. Agent. Thanks, too. We'll take over. Oh. It's Agent 25. Something's gone wrong. But not for long. We better take a look. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. What happened to the drink? That bottle was full just now. And now it's empty. And look, in the garden. It's happened again. That sandpit was full. And now it's empty. This is very strange. Can I go? Please, please, please? No, Three. I think I need to go today. Well, can I come with you then? Can I, can I, can I? What do you think, Five? Oh, all right. Yay! I'm going out! We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Five and three! Let's check the total for launching first. OK! 
clear. Good luck! Finding you three and five to land on. Got some threes and fives. Found a three and a five. Are you all right, three? I'm fine. She's coming over here. Let's go. Can you see us, six and four? Yes, we can see you. This is very exciting. Calm down, Three. Three needs to be careful. Don't worry. Five will look after her. Did you see that? Yes. Where did all the ice cream go? Someone's calling. 861 here. I just saw the puzzler. Oh no. So that's why strange things are happening today. The puzzler's playing tricks. Data on screen now. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twisty mind. His bubbles in trouble if you get trapped inside. has caught you because if you can sort the puzzle out the puzzle will sort you five and three can you hear me loud and clear the puzzle is out and about <laughs> he doesn't scare me you must be careful three yes otherwise you might get trapped in a puzzle bubble don't worry I'll take care of three I can take care of myself <laughs> It's Agent 96 here. You've got to hurry. Things are wrong in the cafe. OK, on our way now. Three? Where are you? Where is she? I don't know. She's gone off on her own, hasn't she? Oh, no. I must catch up with her before the puzzler does. <laughs> Puzzler's up to his tricks all right. Why is he making all these things empty? I don't know. Bet it's one of his mean puzzles. Any sign of three yet, Five? No. I hope she doesn't do anything silly. And we've got to stop the puzzler. If he carries on emptying things, anything could happen. <laughs> drink cartons won't be much fun. There'll be no drink inside. And balloons won't be much fun if there's no air inside them. And going to the swimming pool will be no fun at all, because there'll be no water to play in. Got to stop that puzzler. Three, where are you? Puzzler! I found her five. You should have known not to let three go off alone. She can look after herself. Well, let's keep her out of trouble. Let's keep her safe inside my bubble. Let me out, you meanie. Don't worry, three. We'll soon get you out of there. Oh, no. That puzzler. There were four things that once were full. Bottle, tub, sand pit bowl. Some held more and some held less. Put them in order. That's your test. Wow, that's tricky. How do we put the things in order? You've got to know which one holds the biggest amount. And which one holds the smallest amount? And which ones come in between? 
Let's fill them up again. See how much it takes to fill them. I'll get the brain game going. <laughs> brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Machines ready, fill them up. Everything filled up so quickly, we couldn't tell which holds the most. Or which holds the least. So we can't put them in order and solve the puzzle. While my problem gives you trouble, three stays trapped inside my bubble. Help! But I feel kind today, and so I'll give you all just one more go. We've only got one more chance to rescue three. How can we work it out? Fill them up bit by bit, so how many bits you need. Right. The more jumps of brain gain I have to do, the more the thing holds. I'll keep count of the jumps. OK, Five. Start with the bottle. Fire away. One. Two. That's full. The bottle took two jumps of brain gain to fill. The ice cream tub next. One, two, three, four, full. Took four. Ready for the bowl. One, that's full. Now the sand pit. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to take loads. 19, 20, 21, 39, 40. 55, 56, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 99, 100, full! Well done. <sighs> well, the sand pit definitely took the most jumps. A hundred! So that's the biggest. The ice cream tub took four jumps, so that's next. The bottle took two jumps, and the bowl took just one jump, so that's the smallest. So the order is bowl smallest, then bottle, then tub, then sandpit. Definitely the biggest. Puzzle solved, you win, and so three is free, and off I go. But I'll be back. Are you all right, three? I think so. Don't worry, you're safe now. Come back now, three and five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five. It's good to be back. You should have stayed close to five. I know. I won't do it again. Sorry. Never mind. We sorted that puzzler out, didn't we? On the screen now. The bottle was full, then empty. Same with the sand pit. And the ice cream tub. It was that puzzler, up to no good. Three went off on her own. And the puzzler bubbled me. His puzzle was quite tricky. The things that needed most brain gain held the most. One for the bowl. Two for the bottle. Four for the ice cream tub. And a hundred for the sand pit. We got them all in order. And the puzzler had to let three go. Safe at last. So whatever happens, you don't go wandering off by yourselves. I don't think my body blocks would go off on their own. Especially since I got them their new home. New home? Yes, look. That's much cosier, isn't it? They fill it right to the top. What's the smallest thing that gets filled up in your home? And what's the biggest? Find out and call the number jacks.
sofa in an ordinary room. Extraordinary heroes who are standing by to zoom. I said I'm coming. I think I can safely say I've found you. What do you mean, found me? We're playing hide and seek. Are we? I thought we were playing statues. Well, Zero and One knew what the game was. Because they're definitely hiding. So you're found. All right, then. You hide. Right. You try and find me. I'm going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shall I hide here? Seven, eight. Or here? Nine, ten. I'll hide here. Coming ready or not? Yes, I'll hide here. Oh, yes, this is a good place. He'll never find me here. Great, lovely. Just the job. Three. I can see you. You're found. Oh, that was quick. That's because I could hear you. Oh, I forgot about that. We still haven't found zero and one, though. I'll find them. Might go again. Don't look. Course not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Hang on. I can see you four. Found you, found you. Yes, but you didn't count probably up to ten that time. So? You missed out nine. It's eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're not very good at this game, are we? No, but zero and one are. Can't find them anywhere. We'll have to find them later. Come on. Here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. There's a problem with grumpy mums. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> Everyone has that problem sometimes. Yes, your mum's bound to be grumpy now and again. He can handle one grumpy mum, but he's got loads of them. <laughs> that does look like a problem. OK, who's going out there? I'm up for it. OK, Five, it's you this time. Good luck. OK, get ready for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number five. Checking the room's empty. All clear. OK, let's go! Finding a five. Found a five. Everything all right, five? 
Everything's fine. Go and help that boy. There he is. And all his grumpy mums. We better find out how many mums there are. I think there are about ten. Be good to know exactly how many. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, three. There are ten mums, five. <laughs> Agent 52 here. We've got more problems. What's been going wrong, Agent 52? Have a look. Anyone see what's going on? Agent's coming in. Agent 61 here. One thing keeps on turning into lots of things. Count them. Is it the same number every time? Got the pictures on screen. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And five apples. And five more. That's ten. And five mops. And five mops. That's ten. OK, we know we've got ten of everything, but why? Hang on. I just heard something. Listen. Can't find me. That's number one, somewhere out here. No wonder we couldn't find her when we played hide and seek. Everyone looking for number one. Keep your eyes open. I bet I'll find her. There she is. You'll have to get after her, Five. But wait, listen. Can't find me. Zero's out there too. Better find Zero first. Is that Zero? Ooh. Five, you'll have to get one and Zero. But our problem was about ten things. I've got a number ten on screen. Hmm. hmm. Better get after them anyway. They headed out to the park. OK. There's one and there's zero. Zero's going up to one. I think we've got ten things again. I've got it on screen. One and zero get together. And there's the number ten. I've got to stop one and zero getting together and making the number ten or anything could happen. Instead of a monster with one head, it would have ten heads. Or there might be ten dancing cows. But if one sun was turned into ten suns, it would be far too hot and everything would die. <laughs> There they are again. They're getting together. Oh, you've got to keep what? one and zero away from each other. Let's send some brain gain. Brain gain. Brain gain to solve the problem, use our brain No way to get your brains all linking up together Joined up thinking Getting brain power now, brain gain One and zero, keep them away from each other Keep one and zero away from each other Keep them away <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Okay, I think we've got it all sorted. Phew. You better get them and bring them back. I've spotted them again. Now what are they up to? That's all right. There's supposed to be ten green bottles standing on the wall. I think they're moving apart this time. What's going to happen to the bottles if they do? Agent's calling in. If one's left over without, without zero, there won't be ten bottles anymore. There'll be one green bottle standing on the wall. Hmm. Zero's going! Where will one and zero go next? This could be trouble. What's the matter, Five? They're going to play five-a-side football. So? Don't you see? Five and five make ten. And one and zero might change ten kids into one. There they are! If they move apart, ten will turn into one. And most of the children will disappear. They're going to move apart. Keep one and zero together. Keep one and zero together. Keep together. More brain game. Keep together. They're tired out. We did it. Come back now, Five, and bring one and zero with you. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well done, Five. And what you did was very naughty, One and Zero. I don't think they really knew what they were doing. Well, we can see it on screen. That boy had a lot of grumpy mums. Ten of them. All those mops. And apples. And bowling pins. We spotted One and Zero. One and Zero together make ten. And lots of trouble. Like ten footballs. Got one and zero apart, and everything was fine. But then they turned things that should be ten into one. We had to stop them. And we did. Right, let's finish off this game of hide and seek. One and zero are very good at hiding. One minute you see the numbers one and zero, then you see the number ten. Amazing. Can you count ten things somewhere on your body? And then can you count ten things somewhere else on your body? Let us know. Or any problems? Call the number jacks. Are you ready, Five? Yeah. This is going to be a tricky jump. We'll be fine. OK. One. Two. It's me! Whoa! Oh, did I surprise you? We were just about to do a very tricky jump. I could do it. Watch. One, two, three! Whoa! I couldn't do that. It takes a lot of practice. OK, that's all right. 
I'll go and find Four. See you later. Four will be really glad to see me. Now the important thing is not to head the ball too hard. It's me! Ooh. Oh no! Look what you did, Three! Ooh. I didn't know what you were doing! It was going well till you got here! Oh, sorry! No one wants me today. Come on, quick! Agent! Hello, Agent 25 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. This girl's got a problem. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. It's just got a wheel missing. But why is there a wheel missing? It just went. OK, we're sending someone out. Thanks. Well, I think I should go. Why? Because there should have been four wheels. It's a problem about four, so I should sort it. But there were three wheels, so I should go. Four. Three. Well, maybe... You should both go. Yeah. yeah. You look after three now. Gosh. Come on, get ready for launching. Shall I go first? Go for it. Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there. Who will it be? Who's going out there? Four and three. Good luck, both of you. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. All clear. Let's go. Problem. What's gone wrong? The launch is broken. Three's gone without me. Just my luck. Hope three's all right. Closing the doors. Three's on her own. Finding her three to land on. Finding threes. Got a three. All right, three. Yes. Where's four? We had a problem with the launcher. You're on your own. Oh. Any luck with the launcher, four? It's going to be a long job, six. Looks like you're going to have to handle this all yourself, three. I... I can do it. I'll check the car. Yes. One, two, three wheels. That's why it's not working properly. I'm sure a car could work somehow with three wheels. Another agent calling in. I think that if we here, more problems in the cafe. She's folding the napkins. Is that the problem? No, this is look. One of the table legs has disappeared. One, two, three legs only. Hope nothing else goes. Oh no! Another leg gone! What's going wrong with all these things? Is there a link? Agent 88 here. 
there are three wheels on the car instead of four, and it don't work. The table and chair have got three legs, not four. Three doesn't work. Of course three works. Three is a very good number. Well, it's not working as well as four at the moment. <laughs> uh, the shape japer! What do we know about the shape japer? Checking out the data. Looks like the shape japer's back. Shape, shape she's really very strange. Shape, shape her, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing size. Changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The Shape Japer's back. But why is the Shape Japer interested in numbers today? <laughs> What's she laughing at? <laughs> What? Me? She's laughing at everything with threes. That's not fair. Maybe the shape japer likes a different number. But what number? And why? It's no good. I still can't fix the launcher. The shape japer is a square, so she likes number four. But why? Because the square has got four corners and four sides. Ha! 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 After her three. She thinks four is best. Well, she has a point. I'll find some things where three does work very well. Sounds interesting. I'll check it out. And I'll get back to fixing the launcher. Got to find some threes. We'll look too. Check the faces. Anything there that comes in threes? Eyes, one, two. No good. Lots of twos around. Two legs, two arms. We can see lots of fours too. Four wheels on the buggy. Four legs on the table. Ha, 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 ha. I will find things with three in. We're all looking. Look, a buggy with three wheels. Yes. Look, a three-legged stool. Oh, yes. What's happening over there? <laughs> It's the three-legged rest, sort of three legs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We need more threes. Any shapes with three corners and three sides? Look at the sandwiches. They're triangles with three sides. Ha, 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 ha. We need more triangles to beat the shape japer. I can't see any more triangles. Then I'll have to make some. I bet I can. How? Get the straw together to make a shape with three sides. I'll power up the brain game machine. <laughs> Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain, a way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking, getting brain power now. Brain game. Three straws together make a triangle. Three fingers together make a triangle. Make a triangle. Three straws make a triangle. Yes, three corners and three sides. Ha! We've got her worried, but we need a bigger triangle. I'll find some things to make a bigger triangle. I wonder. Yes, why not? Three children to make a triangle. Three children to make a triangle. Three corners and three sides. Yes, well done, three. See, Shape Japer, I found lots of things with three in them and make triangles. Nah. We've got her worried. Square. Ha, 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 ha. She's still going on about four sides. 
If we could turn that square rug into a triangle, that would show her. I'm sure I've seen a square being turned into a triangle. When? Try and remember. When did we see a square being folded into a triangle? Back in the cafe, the waitress folding the napkins. I'll put it on screen. Yes, look at that. I'll do that with the picnic rug. We'll help. Square into triangle. Square into triangle. Square into triangle. Yeah! Yes, triangle. Three corners and three sides. Now fold that shape, Japer, too. Square into triangle. She won't like it. Square into triangle. I have fixed the machinery. Great. Come back now, number three. Checking the room's clear. It's clear. One, two, three. Well done, three. That was a bit tricky. Got it all on screen for you to see. The girl's car should have had four wheels. The table needed four legs. That shape, Japer. Saying things with three don't work. Just cos she was square today, she liked four. But we found lots of things with three. And we made triangles too. Three corners and three sides. Yeah. And we turned a square into a triangle. And got rid of the shape shaper. And everything back to normal. Hooray! So I'm in the middle. Yes. For this game, you need three people to play. To you. Ooh. I'll get it, I'll get it. What's the matter? I was just wondering, if we'd folded a corner of that rug again, what shape would it have made? Find out and call the number jacks. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. But it's a bit squashy here. Could budge up a bit. Okay. Not that way. I meant budge up the other way. Away from me. Well, you should have said what you meant. Please budge up the other way. Okay. Is that it? What? You only budged up a tiny bit. Well, you didn't say how big a budge you wanted. Well, I... You've got to say what you mean. I'll show you what I mean. I mean budging up this much. OK, I see how much you mean now. Well... Well... Aren't you going to budge up? Why? You've already done the budging. Yeah, but... No point me budging up now, is there? I suppose not. But if you really want me to... I will budge up. Thank you. Oh well, next time. <laughs> Come on! We've got a call. Who is it? I can say for him. We've got
got something going wrong. Hold on. I'm putting it on screen. She needs a bigger brush than that. That's what she thought and this is what she got. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a bigger brush. But it's much too big. She'll have even more trouble now. What's she doing? That's very clever. But she's not going to brush her hair properly like that. And there's another problem. This boy was drawing and he ran out of paper. So he wished he had a bigger bit. And now it's too big. There's definitely something strange going on. So will you send someone out? Yes. How about you four? Ready to go on a mission? I suppose so. Why not? Four is on his way. Thanks. Checking everything's clear. All clear. No, wait. Wait there, Four. Ready when you are. Okay, all clear now. Stand by, Four. Off you go. Scanning for a four to land on. Found a four. Ooh. Good luck, four. Keep your eyes open. I will. I'll go and help that girl and boy. At least that huge piece of paper is going to be recycled. Her friend's helping. They're doing their best, but it's not great. But things aren't right out there. Right, let's sort this out. We need to know why things went wrong. Agent 47 here. I bet the girl wished for a bigger brush. She didn't say how much bigger she wanted it. The boy must have wished for a bigger piece of paper. He didn't say how much bigger. I bet they're right. That girl and boy didn't say clearly what they wanted. Got another call coming in. The man who does the cleaning, he's in trouble with his brush now. Putting it on screen. That brush was too big with sweeping with the pan. So did he want a different brush? Yes, he did. He wished he had a smaller brush. He wasn't very clear how small he wanted it. He's going to be sweeping for ages with that brush. He's a bit unlucky they got brushes that were so wrong. I don't think they were all unlucky. I think something made them have a problem. What did? The problem blob. Look. Yuck! Putting the data on screen. Any spot a blob of slime. Guess what? Big slob can buy. Uh oh. Great. Big and blubbery. Blubbery. Look, the cleaner's got slime on him. 
That's why things are going wrong. The girl and boy must have been slime too. He's getting very hot. All that sweeping with a tiny brush. I bet he's wishing he had something to wipe himself with. Oh no. What size will it be? Bigger than he expected. A lot bigger than he expected. All because he didn't say what size cloth he wanted. You've got to say exactly what you want, or the problem blob will make sure it's not right. More problems. At the cafe, the lady's just stuck for a few beans with her meal. Look, she's been slimed. So something will go wrong. She asked for a few beans, so she'll get. <laughs> Three beans. That's not very many. If you're not clear about what you want, the problem blob makes sure you end up with something silly. She's asked for more beans. Did she make it clear how many more beans she wanted? No. Oh dear. Uh oh. If you don't make it clear what you want, that's when things go wrong. Thanks to the problem blob. If you're cold in bed and you wanted a blanket, you might just get a doll's blanket that was far too small. Or someone might wish for a bike and they'd get one that was far too big. Or someone might wish for some ice cream and the problem blob would make sure they got far, far, far too much. You've got to be clear in what you say. We've got to sort this problem blob out. There are problems at a picnic. I'm on my way. Be careful what you say. I bet the blob is there somewhere. There he is. He'll make things go wrong again. <laughs> So the sandwiches are all different sizes. <laughs> that's a very small one. And that's a very big one. And that's a very long sandwich. These sandwiches need sorting out. How can they make all the sandwiches the right size? Make them all about the same size. Yes, make them all the size of your hand. Brilliant. We'll send Brain Game to sort it out. I'll get the brain game going. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game! All sandwiches got to be the size of a hand. The size, the of, size a hand. of a hand. Yes, sandwiches the size of a hand. The sandwiches are going well. The blob won't like that. How are they going to share the drink out fairly? If they all have one cup full, it should be all right, shouldn't it? What could go wrong? Look! That's a cup full, but it's not very much. And there's another cup full. That's not very fair. But it is very heavy. The problem blob liked that. <laughs> the cups have got to be about the same size too. Make the cups about the same size as your hands. Like this. Sending brain gain. Make the cups the size of your hands. The size of your hands. Cups are all the size of hands. The picnic is going to be good. Not if we don't get rid of the problem, Blob. Send the problem, Blob, away. Send him away. Away, away. Oh no! We didn't say how far away! 
sent him so far away, we can't even see it. So far, we can't even see it. Yes! Done it! Come back now, Four. Here I come. All clear for landing. For. We told that problem blob exactly where to go. We got it all on screen. The girl wanted a bigger brush, but not that big. And the paper was much too big. The cleaner needed a brush to match his pan. And he didn't need a giant handkerchief. It was all the problem blob's fault. And he was making the picnic go wrong too. All the sandwiches were the wrong size. So we made them the size of a hand. And we sent the problem blob away. So far we couldn't see him. Everything back to normal. You must be tired, Four, after all that rushing about. Do you want to sit down? I do. Well, we'll budge up. To make exactly enough room for you. Thank you. Very good. One last thing. Can you find anything in your house that is about the size of your hand? Find out and call the number jack. In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, an extraordinary hero here are standing by to zoom. So wherever they are in, they are speeding up today. The number jacks are on their way. They will help you with your problems. They are waiting for your call. No problem is too big for them. No problem is too small. <laughs> That's good. I'm not in the mood for reading. I'm not in the mood for anything much. Except making noises. Neep, neep, neep. Doop, doop, doop. Neebo, neebo, doodle, doodle, neebo, doodle, doo. Neebo, neebo, doodle, doodle, neebo, doodle, doo. <coughs> Is it a good book? I expect so. It's a bit hard to tell at the moment. Oh, I know. I could do some jumping. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. You could go to the gym if you're in the mood for jumping. No, I like it here, with you. Oh, good. Oh, look, here's one. Lovely. Hey, one, we're making noises and jumping. Not all of us are. Do a chip, do a chip, do a chip, chip. Pew, pew. That's not very good. Oh, I think it is. She's making just one noise at a time. Pew. And one little jump. I could do just one jump. Jip. I bet you couldn't make just one noise, though. I could, I could. Pew. I can do that. Doobble, oobble, oobble, doobble, oobble, doodle, do. That's not one noise. Jip, 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 jip. I think I'll finish this later. No time for it now, come on! We've got a call coming in. Agent 55 here. What's up? Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's a bit worrying. What is it? This girl had lots of things. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. She's still got a lot of things. Yes, but look what she had before. 
Something strange going on. We better send someone out. Thank you. Okay, who's going? I've had a good rest. I'm ready for a bit of action. Okay, six is going. Get ready for launching. We've got a problem. What should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem need to fix. Who's going out there? Number six. <laughs> Good luck, Six. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. It's all clear. Let's go! Looking for a six to land on. Got a six. <laughs> right, I'm ready for action. Why have some toys been taken and some been left? All agents out there, any ideas? Agent 68 here. There's only one of each toy. Something has taken all the other toys and left only one of each. Six, there's just one of every toy. So we've got to watch out for things there are more than one of. That's what will be taken. Agent 94 here. I think there's going to be trouble for the gardener. OK, I'm on my way. I've put it on the screen. He's all ready to sow some seeds. He's getting the soil ready with his fork. Nice and flat. Lots of seeds to sell. Well, that's all right. Where's the problem? I think I can see the problem. What? Look! Yeah! The number taker! Putting the data on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number take? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, nagging as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, he's as mean a number taker as can be. What's he going to take? We need to watch out for things there are more than one of. The fork should be all right. There's only one of that. And there's only one rake. Oh, no! There are lots of seeds. The number taker would be after them. He's getting some more seeds. Why is he grabbing the fork? There's only one of them. Agents, what's going on? There's only one fork, but it has three prongs. The number taker is taking any number more than one. <laughs> What's he done? There's only one prong left. That's not going to be much good. Oh no! The prongs of the rake! That's not going to be much good. He's not going to be happy. Surely nothing else can go wrong. Oh no, the watering can. The number taker has taken all the other holes and only left one hole. That number taker, where's he gone? 
Off to cause more trouble. Taking things and only leaving one. He's even taken one of the gardener's boots. I'd better get after the number taker. How can we stop the number taker taking things? He mustn't get to see anything if there's more than one of them. I've spotted the number taker. He's looking for things so he can grab them. OK. The plan is to make sure he doesn't see anything with a number more than one in. Right. We've got to spot things before the number taker does and get them out of his sight. OK, good plan. Everyone look closely. Mustn't let anything pass that has more than one of anything. Check out the trolley. Is it in danger from the number taker? Yes. It's got one, two, three, four wheels. Scare the lady away, Six. I guess I've got to. Boom! I don't like scaring people. It's for their own good. Better than having your wheels grabbed by the number taker. I'd better see if there are any more things. The gardener! He doesn't want any more trouble. Is his wheelbarrow OK? Yes, it's only got one wheel. If he's after wheels, the number taker won't be interested. Great! We've got to get rid of the number taker. If we don't, he'll keep on grabbing things that have more than one. If you had some cereal, the number taker would grab everything except one bit of cereal. If you had a plant in a pot, it would only have one leaf and one petal. Or if there were lots of people together, the number taker would make it only one person and she'd be very lonely. We've got to stop that number taker. Well, you'll have to do it quick because he's coming. Oh no! He'll be after you, Six. Oh yes! Because you're a number more than one. What number isn't the number taker grabbing? One. He won't grab one. You've got to get number one out here. OK. Time for an emergency launch. I'll get her ready. Do you think one will be all right? She'll have to be. Good luck, one. Ready for launch. Checking the room's empty. All clear. It's going to be a very short countdown. Ready? One, zero! One is on her way. Found her a one to land on. Come on, one. We need you. She can get close without being grabbed. It's up to you, One. You're the only number who can save us. What can poor little One do against the great big number taker? Wait a minute. She doesn't have to be little One. She can be big One. Yes. We need Brain Game to make her bigger. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Think big, think one elephant. Think, think big, big, one plane, think big, one plane. Sending brain game now. Think big, think big one. One did the trick. Come on back, Six. <laughs> All clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done, One.
Come and see what you look like on the screen. She only had one of each toy. But she's all right now the number taker's gone. And the gardener had a bad time. But he's OK now. I had to scare away the lady with the trolley so the number taker wouldn't get her. Cos she had four wheels on the trolley. And the gardener had one wheel, which was OK. But once one arrived and got bigger, that was the end of the number taker. <sighs> you know you wanted me just to make one noise? Yes. Well, I will make just one noise. But it's going to be a big one. Yay! One last thing. Check your home. What things have you got just one of? Check it out and call the number jacks. Them. I'm worried that I've lost one of them. Well, we've got one, two, three here. I'll go and find the others. They must be here somewhere. Where are you, Buddy Blocks? There you are. Come on. That's better. Three and one, two, three. That's all six of them. Hooray! Hooray! They've gone. We've got to find them. There's three. There's three more. Going to get you. I'm after you. Got three. And three more. Are you sure? One, two. One body block missing. Three. And two more is four. Five. Need one more to make six. Come on. Five and one more. Make six. Phew. It's us that's got to rush off. Come on. Agent 42 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's this girl. She had some bouncy balls. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. <laughs> but very soon after, they'd gone. Maybe she just lost them. The strange thing is, the same thing happened again. This time it was a boy. He had some bouncy balls too. They've gone as well. Wow! So you're going to investigate? Definitely. Thank you. Well, you're good at looking for things, Six. Yes, so I'm going out. Get ready for launching. Yeah! We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Here's a problem, need to fix. Who's going out there? Number Six. <laughs> Empty. 
empty. Hold on, there are some children. Think they're going. They've gone. Let's do the launch. All clear. Let's go. Looking for a six. Got a six. Huh. Right, we need to know more about those two children. Putting both of them on screen. OK, that's after the bouncy ball disappeared. How about before? We've got to spot if there's anything the same. Look at the number of balls they have. One, two, three. They've both got three bouncy balls. Good number. Are you getting this, Six? Yes. Two lots of three balls disappeared. We've got to find out why. Agent 85 here. I think I found the missing balls at the campsite. I'm on my way. Got the campsite on screen. Look out for the missing balls. There they are. I hope they're not going to eat them. Six, there are the missing balls. Oh, no. Are all the balls there? Yes, two lots of three. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. I hope she's got a good appetite. Well, that was pretty disastrous. Well, let's hope nothing else goes wrong. Now three strawberries have gone. And not just from that person. <gasps> How did they disappear? And where will they appear next? What? Well, the balls disappeared and turned up in the campsite. Now the strawberries have disappeared. Will they turn up somewhere else? There's something strange going on at the bowling green. That looks normal. They're not bowling balls. It's the six strawberries from the campsite. They're not going to be very good for bowling. They're not happy. Someone put those strawberries there to spoil things for them. What on earth is going on? Someone's making trouble. They're taking two lots of three things. And making six. A tricky six that makes trouble. Six, can you see who's making these tricky sixes? I can. Look. The number taker. Yuck. Quick, what data have we got on him? Putting the data on screen. Number taker, number taker, have you seen the number take? Taking all the numbers you can see. Picking, nicking, getting, writing as mean a number taker as can be. With his number sucker up, he's a number mucker up, he's as mean a number taker as can be. But this time he's not just taking numbers, he's making them. He's the number taker and the number maker. He's made a tricky six. He better not make another one. Oh, no! There's three balls. Not anymore. There's another three. Gone! Bet he's going to make a tricky six somewhere. After him, six. He's going to make a tricky six. The man's finishing his balloon making. Aha. Aha. He's going to do juggling next. 
What's the number taker up to? That's a very tricky six. Very tricky to juggle with. He'll have to try. number taker off to now if the number taker keeps on making tricky sixes anything could happen he might take three worms and three more worms and make a tricky six in someone's lunch oh he might take three bears and three more bears and make a tricky six in someone's bed or he might take three sharks and three more sharks and make a tricky six in someone's bar. Ah! Ah! That number take has got to be stopped. OK, how do we stop him making sixes? Agents, we need ideas, quick. Stop him taking any threes and maybe he won't be able to make six. Great! I'll get the brain game going. Quick, he's back at the campsite. I bet he wants to take three tomatoes. Oh, no, he won't. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brains. There's a way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. No taking three. 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 Yeah! 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 We did it! He can't make six without taking two lots of three. Wait a minute. I don't like the look of this. No taking three. No taking three. He's not taking three. He's taking five. What does he want five things for? He can't make a tricky six starting with five things, can he? It's like sixes budgie blocks. There were five budgie blocks. And how many more were needed to make six? One. Five and one more make six. The number taker's got five. He needs to add one more. We've got to stop him. No adding one. No adding one. No adding one to make six. Now we've done it. No, he's coming back again. He's got one, two, three, four tomatoes. He's got four. How many does he need to make six? Agents. Two. Four and two add up to make six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No adding two! No adding two! Yes, we've done it! If he can't use three or one or two, there's no way he can make six. Yeah! He's given up making tricky sixes! We've done it! Yes! Come back now, six. Clear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice one, six. Did the trick. We got it all on screen. Come and see. The girl had three bouncy balls and they were taken. And the boy had three. Two lots of three made six. A tricky six. But we stopped that number taker. We stopped him adding three and three to make six. We stopped him adding one and five to make six. And we stopped him adding two and four to make six. No more ways to make six. 
So off he goes. Buddy blocks. Buddy blocks. Oh, they've gone again. There's two. So how many are missing now? Could you help six? If he's got two buddy blocks, how many more does he need to make six? Find out and call the number jacks. See how far I can jump. Easy jump to start. One. Good start. Make it a bit harder. Two. And now for three. Oh yes. Getting harder though. Oh, it's a long way to get to the fourth one. Oh no, I'll never do it. Oh, yes, you will. Eight. I bet I can get you to jump further. That would be great. But how? Well, go on. Line up. You can jump all the way to eight. What? You'll jump it because you have two jumps. Wow. One jump to four, then another jump to eight. Two jumps. Maybe I can do it. Here goes. Here. Yes! Well done. I jumped to eight. Yes, and you thought you couldn't even jump to four. Wow, thanks eight. No problem. Oh, I've got a big mission to go on. Okay, good luck. Blocks. Great! And four more. Have to tell us later, four. Agent 16 here. It's weird, things are going wrong. But not for long. There's a girl in her umbrella. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. That looks good. But it's very odd. It's got a life of its own. That is a weird umbrella. And we'd better do something about it. Great, thanks. Right, who's going? Well, Four's been doing some good jumping. I have. So maybe you're the one to go. OK. Hey, we got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We got a problem to Who's going out there? Number four. Stand by for... Right. Okay, Four. 
I'm fine. That buggy is out of control. We've got to help everybody. What is it with these things? Is anything the same? Get them up on screen. Have you tried counting? Do they have the same number of things? The umbrella has four dark blue bits and four light blue. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The buggy hasn't got eight things. It's only got four wheels, two at the front and two at the back. Hang on, look closely. The wheels are double wheels. So it's got four wheels at the front. And four wheels at the back. That's eight wheels all together. Two lots of four are eight. Thanks, agents. We've found what the link is. They've all got eight things. Things with eight are going wrong. But why things with eight? I'm not sure, but I can see something very strange. The shape japer. <laughs> very tricky. What do we know about the shape japer? Data on screen. Looks like the shape japer's back. Shape, shaper, she's really very strange. Shape, shaper, she loves to make things change. Changing faces, changing signs, changing shapes every single time. Changing shapes is the Japer's game. The shape Japer's back. Why is the shape Japer interested in eight things? Look at her corners. The shape Japer has got eight corners. Four on top and four on the bottom. Eight corners. Eight bad eight. She's being a bad eight and making all the other eights bad. We really need number jack eight to sort this problem out. Well, you've only got me. Eight went off on his own mission. Then you're going to have to solve this for. OK. Agent 101 here. We got more problems. This man's having trouble. I think it's his coat. It's taken over. Why is the coat going bad? Can anyone see anything special about the coat? It's the buttons. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number that's going wrong. Eight, bad, eight. There's a lady doing funny things. Oh, lady. It's her hands. They're out of control. What's making her hands go funny? It's the rings. Look, there are four on one hand and four on the other. Eight. Another problem with eight. If we don't stop things with eight going wrong, anything could happen. If you were playing dominoes and you had a double four, that's eight. It might go mad and spoil the game. Or if you played eight notes, the instrument might go mad. Or oh, horrible. Or an octopus with eight legs might jump out of the water and chase everyone. We've got to stop the shape japer making problems with eight. The shape japer is making eight bad all the time. If only we could make eight in a good way. Four? You can make eight, can't you? Oh, yes. In the gym, I jumped four and four and made eight. If your jumping was good then... It was brilliant. Then your jumping should be good here. Two jumps by four to make a good eight. It's worth a try. Get the brain game going. Bouncing all the way. Two lots of four to make eight. It might just work. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Joined up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Two lots of four to make a good eight. Two lots of four. Two lots of four. Two, Two lots, lots of four, four to make a good eight. Two lots of four.
Whoa! Sort out those bad apes! There's the buggy with the eight bad wheels! Ready for? You've got to do two lots. Four and four! Yes! Two lots of four made a good eight! Sort the rest of the things out now, Four. OK. Sending more brain game. Two lots of four. Make those eights good. Two lots of four make a good eight. Two lots of four make a good eight. Two lots of four make a good eight. Well done, Four. Two lots of four make eight every time. Phew. Glad I practiced my jumping. We got one more problem eight to deal with. Where is it? We don't know exactly, but it's somewhere here. Right. I'll have a look. OK. I still don't know what to look out for. All we know is it's got something to do with eight. Be careful, Four. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to be... Ah! It's a spider! Of course, with eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight very long legs. I think spiders are lovely. I'm not so sure. Well, you haven't got to cousin the spider. Oh, good. You've just got to jump over it. Oh, no! Do you want this spider going bad like all the other things? No. That's what the shape japer wants. Eight bad, eight bad. You've got to sort the spider. Two jumps of four to make a good eight. Two lots of four make a good eight. Here it goes. Jumping the spider. And back again. Four and four make eight. Now that's a lovely spider. But not a lovely shape, Japer. Four's got one more thing to make good. Eight bad! Eight bad! You can do it, Four. Make that shape, Japer, into a good eight. Two lots of four make a good eight. Get ready. Four! Four! And four more! Eight. Make eight! A good eight! Eight! Eight. Good. She's being a good eight. Done it. Come back now, Four. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Well done, Four. You could do it. Yes. Made that shape, Japer, good for once. We've got it all on screen. The girl had trouble with her umbrella. And the buggy was going wrong too. They all have eight things. And the shape, Japer, was making all things with eight go bad. The man had eight buttons. And the lady had eight rings. Two lots of four. And the spider had eight legs. That was a bit scary. But you did it. You made sure it was a good spider. And you made the shape, Japer, good for once. With two good jumps of four. Everything sorted. Now, I'm going to help you, just like Eight helped me. You jump two blocks and two more. Yeah. Yay. Well done. Two at a time. I wonder, how many jumps would two need to get to eight. Oh, I don't know. Find out for me. How many jumps of two would you need to get all the way to eight? Find out and call the number jacks.
In an ordinary sofa, in an ordinary room, extraordinary heroes who are standing by to see. Today, I want to practice a game of Estimate and... Wow! I want to play, I want to play! OK, I'll show you how to play. It's called Estimate. I can do that. Do you know what Estimate means? No. It's like guessing and you've got to look and think. OK. I wait to see how many things there are, then... If I think it's near my number, estimate six. Yeah, I think there are about six dots. Hang on, hang on. There's one, two, three, four, five dots there, not six. I didn't say it was exactly my number. I said estimate six. Could be six or a bit more or a bit less. Clever! Do you want to go? Oh, yes! OK, I've got it. Could be the same as my number, or a bit more, or a bit less. Ready? Go! Three. It doesn't have to be exactly your number. Could be nearly your number. Oh, yeah! Estimate three! One, two, three, four. Which is only a little bit more than three. Well done. Yes. Estimate, estimate. Do you want to go together? Yes. Oh, I want to play estimate. Later, we've got work to do. Come on. Call coming in. Agent 28 here. Things are going wrong. But not for long. This boy is having problems. Hold on, I'm putting this on screen. He needs four pieces to finish his construction, but he can't work out which pal has got about the right number. And because he's not deciding, the pieces are doing strange things. Weird. He'll never build that construction if they keep doing that. We'll send someone straight away. Thank you. I'll go, Six. OK, get ready for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? Need to get out there, who will it be? Who's going out there? Number four. Good luck, Five. Checking the room. Hang on, someone there. Oh, let me make the doorbell ring. Go on, then. There won't be anybody at the door. Room clear. I love doing that. Let's go. Looking for a five to land on. There's a five. OK, five. I'm fine. That's good. B 
because I think we've got more problems. Strange things are happening to the builder. She knows she needs six nails, but she can't work out which pile has got about the right number. And while she can't decide, the nails are doing strange things. What is going on? I think I know. Look! Oh, look! The problem blob! Bet he's the one making things go wrong. Need all the information we've got. Info on screen now. If you spot a blob of slime, guess what? Big slob. He must have slimed the builder to make things go wrong. Yes, look. The builder can't choose which pile of nails to use, so they're behaving strangely. More problems. Who is it this time? The man with balloons. He's been blobbed. Oh, no. He knows he needs about six balloons for his show, but he can't work out if he has enough. He's having a lot of trouble. Poor man. More problems. A teacher doesn't know if she's got enough children to help her. Blobbed. She's been blobbed. She needs about four children to help her with the plants. But she can't choose which group has got about the right number. Don't say a teacher's in trouble. If she doesn't choose soon, the children will start behaving strangely. You're right. Look! Poor lady. Five. We've got to sort these problems out. I know. If we don't stop the problem, Blob, things could get even worse. You want about four sandwiches. And you can't decide which plate has got about the right number. So the sandwiches might start behaving strangely. Or if you needed about three plants, but couldn't decide which pot, the plants might start acting strangely as well. And if the dancing cow needed four shoes, but couldn't choose the right group, the shoes might go potty. We've got to sort these problems out. Agents, any ideas? It's because everybody can't decide if they got the right number of things. How can they decide quickly? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What about our game of estimate? No time for playing mouth, Ray. No, I mean, could the people estimate what number it is? Yes, like we did. It's worth a try. We'll need to send them brain gain. I can do it. Me, me, me! Brain gain, brain gain, to solve the problem, use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain gain! Let's start with the builder. Estimate! Estimate! She's estimating. She knows she needs six nails. Just check if it's about six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was about six. Well done, that builder. Sort the others now, Five. OK. Keep the brain game going, Three. Estimate! Let's sort the balloon man. Time for some brain game. Estimate! He's estimating. He needs about six balloons. And he's got about six. Better sort everyone else, Five. Estimate! Then count if you want. Yeah! She's estimating. This group has got about four children. Counting to check. She's got one, two, three, four, five children. Very close to the four she needed. Her estimating worked fine. Do the boy in his construction.
He needs to estimate which group is roughly four. Counting to check. One, two, three, four, five. Very close. Well done, five. We did it. Estimating sorted things out. One more thing still to sort out. The problem blob. How are we going to stop the problem blob doing weird things? Estimating sorted out all the other things. Try it with the problem blob. OK, Five, you've got to make the problem blob splurt some blobs. And then we'll estimate how many. OK, I'll make him splurt. Be careful. And you get ready to estimate how many blobs. Oh, problem blob, we're going to estimate how many globs of slime you make. He didn't like that. Come on, blubbery blubber. Blub us, and we'll estimate how many. <laughs> Quick, find the blobs of slime. Brain going to help you estimate. Estimating about five blobs. Looks good to me. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent estimate. Ha <laughs> ha, blubbery. He's getting angry. <laughs> <laughs> estimate! Estimate! About how many? About ten! Estimate about ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really close. Great estimate. We've got that blob beaten. He's getting very angry. He's going into overload. <laughs> be making any more trouble for a while. Yes! Come back now, Five. Hooray! All clear for landing. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well done, Five. He was so blubbery. We've got it all on screen. His pieces were all over the place. I love those nails. I wish I had some. I'd like some of those balloons. They're mad. Those children were a bit strange too. I wouldn't want to be the teacher. But we sorted them all. Estimate! Sorted them out by estimating. That's better. Even the children calmed down. We sorted the problem, Blob. Well done, Five. And made the Blob very grumpy. Go! Ah! Who put that there? Estimate! Not very close to my number three. I estimate one blobbery problem, Blob. And yes! I was right! One! Remember, you may need to estimate quickly. Can you do it? Get ready to estimate! And then call the number jacks. Estimate how many? Good luck! blocks are really big today. Look great, don't they? Great for jumping up. Great. I've got to try this. You go ahead. One, two, three, 
Four and five. Great stuff! And five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Brilliant! OK, if I go next, go ahead. Right, watch this. I'm watching. One, two, three. Looking good, six. Four, Ooh. five, six. Yeah! That was good. And this is going to be fast and backwards. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. I don't have to do that, do I? No, just do a simple jump up so you end up on your own buddy blocks. OK, take it steady. Don't worry, I will. One, two, three, oh! Steady! Feels a bit high up here. You've only got one more and you'll be on your own number. All right. Four. Yeah. I did it. I'm on number four. The alarm. Come on. Ah, don't leave me. We got to go. Just jump back four. You can do it. I can't. Someone out there needs our help. Oh, all right then. Four, three, two, one, zero. I did it! I got stuck on top of my buddy blocks. We're all here now. Agent 16 called in. Things are going wrong. But not for long. This boy's got a problem. Hold on, I'm putting it on screen. The things keep moving. They're not staying on, they're coming off. Weird. Certainly strange. He's getting a bit worried. OK, we'll send someone right away. Great, thanks. Right, who wants to go? Four, are you ready for a mission? Uh, yes, I am. Why not? We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We've got a problem to explore. Who's going out there? Number four. Thank you very much. Checking the room is clear. Only Jasper on the sofa. He won't mind. All clear. Stand by for... Off you go. Scanning for a landing. Need a four. Found a four. You all right, four? Yes, I think so. Yes. OK, four, good luck. I'll keep my eyes open for weird goings on. What's going on with these things? Agent 33 here. The animal was on the truck, and the next moment he was off the truck. The block was on the pile, then it was off. Four. It looks like things that have been put on something are coming off. Right. Keep your eyes open for any more problems like that. I think I can see one right now. He's on the skateboard. He's off! He should have been wearing a helmet. He didn't just fall off. Something made him come off. No! 
Friends! Tell us! The man can't stay on his unicycle. On screen. That's hard to stay on anyway. But something's making it much harder. He's coming off! No, he's not! Yes, he is! He can't stay on! He can't even get back on! These problems are getting worse. I think I've found another problem. He looks all right. I don't think so. The lunchbox won't stay on his lap. It's on the bench now. On his lap? Bench. Lap? Bench. Lap! Bench. We've got to find out what's making everything go wrong. I think I can guess. Mixing things up so instead of on, things are off. And listen. <laughs> I know that, laugh. So do I. Look, it's Spooky Spoon. Yes! <laughs> Quick, get the data on Spooky Spoon. Coming up. Uh-oh. One, two, three. She's me. She's bossy, she's very cruel She thinks she's great, she thinks she's cool She's only plastic but she thinks she's fantastic Because she thinks she is Spooky <laughs> We've got to sort her out for <laughs> It's little number Jack Four How are you, you horrible thing? I'm not horrible, but you are Oh! Cheeky, you don't want to be rude to me, you know. Not to Spooky Spoon, the coolest, loveliest, bestest thing ever. Now look. No, you look. I am doing what I like doing. Mixing things up. Things that should be on are now off. And it's all thanks to me, Spooky Spoon. Oh, no. If we don't stop Spooky Spoon mixing things up, anything could happen. <laughs> you might be lying on your bed, oh. and next minute you're off it and on the floor. The candles and decorations are all on your cake. And Ooh. next minute, they're off it. Or a clock could be on the mantelpiece. And then it's off the mantelpiece. Oh, disaster! We've got to stop that spooky spoon. Yes, look what she's doing now. A man on a unicycle. Not very interesting. <laughs> and the unicycle on a man. Much more fun. <laughs> oh, man on bench. Very, very dull. Bench on man. Much better. But the man doesn't like it. Oh, so? I don't like you. But I'll tell you what I do like. What? Me. Me. <laughs> Me! Look, we've got to help these people. OK, what do we do? Well, things aren't in the right place. They're off when they should be on. Send Brain Game to put things back to where they belong. OK, getting the Brain Game machine going. Brain Game, Brain Game, to solve the problem, use our brains. Put away to get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting Brain Power now, Brain Game! We're sending Brain Game to put things back where they belong for... Brain Game coming up! On, on, on! On, on, on! On! on. Putting things back on! Back on the bench! Everything back on! Yeah, well done, Four. Oh, yes. Well done, Four. You spoiled my fun, you have. Good. So, I need a bit more fun. With you. 
Now look here. No. You look there. Looks like a good place for you to be on. Ah! Ah! Don't panic, Four. Oh, yes, Four. Do you panic. <laughs> you can balance. You know you can. Yes, I can balance. But how do I get down? Look, there's a shelter not too far away. Jump onto the shelter and then down onto the bin. And onto the ground. Oh, very easy. We're going to get you off the pole and onto the shelter. Ready? Oh, yes. Off the pole, onto the shelter. Yes, I'm on the shelter. Now off the shelter and onto the bin. Yay! On the bin. And off the bin and onto the ground. Yes. Good to be on the ground again. And good to deal with that spooky spoon. Give me all the on and off brain gain you can. You got it. Loads of on, off, brain gain. On, off, on, off, on, off. On the bin. <laughs> off the bin. Onto the shelter. <laughs> off the shelter. Onto the pole. <laughs> And off you go. On your way, Spooky Spoon. Oh, yeah! Done it. Come back now, Four. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Great work. For. Thanks. Sorted out that old spooky spoon. We've got it all on screen. The boy's toys weren't staying on things. And the skateboarder wasn't staying on his skateboard. Or the man on his unicycle. That man had a hard time with his lunchbox. Or that spooky spoon's fault, mixing things up. We sorted things out, but the spooky spoon sorted four out. No problem. Four got off that pole. And spooky spoon got on it and on her way. Hooray! Think you can do it again, Four? I think so. I might even try jumping onto five. Great! Be careful. What can you find that is on something else? Have a look. Check things out and call the number jacks. hide-and-seek, but I don't know where he's gone. Ha, ha. He's probably causing trouble somewhere. You know what he's like. Ooh. Ooh. Now, actually, I'm pretty good at counting to ten, so I'll count and you hide. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <coughs> Seen you. I can see you, one. <coughs> no, I can't. How did you do that? Oh, two. 
too. I can see you. Wow! That's a clever trick. Show me how you do it. All right, you've had your fun, one and two. Huh? I'm not playing hide and seek with you two again. You can do your clever hiding as much as you like. Clever trick. Not now. There's a call coming in. Come on. What have we got today? Agent 33 here. What's the problem? Things are going wrong. But not for long. It's this boy. Hold on. I'm putting this on screen. That's not his hat. And he can't get it off. And there's another problem. Those are the gardener's boots. One chef's hat and two welly boots. We'll definitely send someone out. Thank you. You up for it? OK. Right, get ready for launching. We've got a problem, what should we do? Who's going out there? Who do we choose? We need to get out there. Number five. Good luck, five. Hang on. Can anyone see anything wrong with the launcher? No. I thought it was making a strange noise. No, probably all right. OK then, checking the room. All clear, let's go! Finding a five. Found a five to land on. Okay, five. I'm fine. Check out that boy and girl. Okay. That chef's hat is giving him problems. <laughs> That's one silly hat. Come on, what caused the problem? There's number one. I can see her. One, did you put the chef's hat on the boy's head? Not me. Anyway, time to go home. Can't move. There's something very strange going on here. Check the girl out. Those boots are being silly. Come on, what's causing the problem? It's two. I've got him. Did you put those two boots on the girl? No, and I'm stuck. We've got a big problem here. How did one and two get out there anyway? I was telling you, they disappeared. Something must have made them disappear. First one, then two. Who's going to be next? Oh no! One, two, me! What's that? Sounds like a problem with the launcher. Maybe that's how one and two were disappeared. No! Three! <coughs> three! Got to check that launcher. Because if I don't, you know who's going to be next. Me! Five! Three's disappeared now. Oh, this is getting worse and worse. I'll see if I can find her. Good luck. Can you do anything with it for? I'll do my best. I found three. Help! I'm stuck too! And I bet there's going to be another problem. This time with three things. I hope I'm not going to do anything mean to him. One. Two. Four. 
You've got to fix that launcher. I think this should do it. Or maybe not. First one, two and three, now four has gone. And instead of solving problems, the number jacks are causing problems. It's terrible. I'd better look for four. That's not one of the builder's tools. Now she's got two things, three things, four things. I bet four's here somewhere. I didn't do that. Afraid you did. Number jacks are causing problems and everyone's things have been swapped over. Calling all number jacks out there. We've got a huge problem. Any number jacks nearby, call in. Oh, seven. What's up, six? Somehow all of us number jacks are causing problems instead of solving them. I'll get hold of eight and nine. We'll be with you as fast as we can. Five. I'm getting seven, eight and nine to help. Good, because we really need them. Oh no, not you too. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa. Six, if seven, eight and nine don't make it, it's all up to you. I know, but so far I'm all right. Oh no, me too. Six. Where are you? This is where I am. And what mixed up trouble am I going to cause? One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I'm ready to help. Oh, oh no, I'm not. I'm part of the problem too. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, where's the problem? Ah, oh, no. Here's the problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, everyone. Nine's here. What do I need to do? Oh, no. I'm in trouble, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If seven, eight and nine are stuck, too, what's going to happen? <laughs> We've all been causing problems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's all the number jacks, isn't it? Have I forgotten anyone? Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Of course! Zero! Maybe zero can save us! Zero. Six! Can you hear me? Yes! We've all forgotten about zero! He's our only hope! He might hear us on the screens! Shout! We've got to shout! Zero! 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 <laughs> zero! If you can see me, you've got to save me. Ooh. And all the number jacks. Ooh. Ooh. If you're there, get the brain game machine going. Brain game? The big purple machine. Please, Zero, if you're there, save the number jacks. Purple. Please, Zero, if you're there, do it. Purple. Brain game. Brain game, brain game to solve the problem. Use our brain. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain game. Agents, 
If you can hear me, help! We've got to count back to get us all back to zero. Start with nine. Nine. Yes. Yes. Keep going, zero. Let's get all those number jacks back home. Eight. Seven. you count on more than nine? How far can you count? See how far you can get and call the number jack. And I'll fix that launch machine. What and for all. The meanest meanie is... <laughs> the Puzzler! <laughs> we all know that laugh. The Puzzler! Sort the puzzle out, the puzzle will sort you. Puzzler! Yes, it's me, and oh, what fun. You'll never guess what I've just done. I've trapped eight inside my bubble. Oh, no! And there he stays, while I make trouble. <laughs> oh, no! We haven't got eight to help us. But at least we're here to help. Yes. We're going to need all the help we can get. The puzzler's making people do things in different silly ways. What else might he do? <coughs> a man could be painting a room. Then the puzzler makes him do it different silly ways. Maybe with his feet. Or maybe another silly way is just throwing the paint. Or he might get the dancing cow in and get the cow to dance the paint on the walls. <laughs> All different ways to paint a room, but not very good ways. The puzzler's got to stop what he's doing. We're all here to help, Five. We've got to stop the puzzler. Stop puzzler. Yes. I might stop. And let your friend go free, if you listen carefully. We're listening. Here's the challenge for you today. Can you make eight three different ways? We've got to make eight three different ways. One way of making eight is by adding two numbers together. OK, start with my number. And what other number do we need to add to make eight? One! Yes! Come on, buddy blocks! One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And one more makes eight. Get ready to start the brain game machine. Brain game, brain game, to solve the problem, use our brain. All way to get your brains all linking up together, join up thinking. Getting brain power now, brain game. Seven and one add up to eight. Sending brain game. <laughs> We found one way of making eight. Seven and one make eight. Seven and one make eight, as you say. Now, can you do it a different way? Me, me. Two wants to join in. Oh, oh hey, two could add his blocks to mine to make eight. Yes, yes. No, we've already made eight by adding. This time it's got to be a different way. Oh. If you don't find a different way, oh. old Puzzly here's got games to play. That's a very different way of drinking. And I've got a different way of making eight. Instead of adding a buddy block, let's take away instead. Come on, buddy blocks. Nine buddy blocks and take one away, that leaves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we made eight by taking one away from nine. Another way of making eight. You found two ways, but you need three. Till then, let's do things weirdly. <laughs> we've added, we've taken away. How else can we make eight? We can help. You only make two. We need lots more than that. Oh. That's it. You can make eight with lots of twos. One lot of two is two, and another lot of two makes four. And another lot of two makes six. Nearly getting there. So how many lots of two do we need? Two. Your lot of body blocks go first. Oh, yes. One lot of two. Another lot of two makes four. Three lots of two makes six. And a fourth lot of two makes eight. In you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes! Sending brain gain. Four lots of two make eight. <laughs> Thanks, Four. Everybody helped. Well, my friends, you've done just great. Three different ways of making eight. First it was add, then take away. Four lots of two was another way. You win. See you all another day. <laughs> Bye, Puzzler. Let's sort everything out. Yes. Yes! Come back now, four and eight. to see you eight. That bubble was horrible. We can see it all on screen.
The girl was getting dressed in a different way. It's a different way of moving. That way it takes a very long time to dig a hole. It was all the puzzler's fault. And he had eight in a bubble. We had to find three ways of making the number eight. You can add seven and one more makes eight. Or you can take away. Nine take away one is eight. Or you can make eight with four lots of twos. And eight was free. Bye-bye, puzzler. <laughs> OK, eight. I got into the circle by sliding. I did it by jumping. Way! And I did it by slipping and crashing. Whoa! Can you think of a different way to get into the circle? Hmm. How about... Rolling. Brilliant. All different ways. I wonder, can you think of different ways of making my number? You can make it any way you like. Adding, take away, lots of, any way. And then, call the number jacks. Puzzler, up to your tricks again. Yes, I have got a puzzle for you. You've got some finding out to do. What is the problem for the waitress? You'd better come up with a great guess. It's the same problem for the teacher. Find what it is, or I will beat you. <laughs> Agents, why is it the same problem for the waitress and the teacher? The thing is, they both don't know enough. The waitress doesn't know who has ordered what food, and the teacher doesn't know how many children want football and how many want television. I get it! Both of them need the right information. The waitress needs information about the food people want, and the teacher needs information about what the children want to do. And the puzzler's bubbles are making everything go wild. So getting the information is impossible. Oh, dear. Without the right information, anything could happen. <coughs> At the zoo, if they didn't have the right information about what animals like to eat, they might give leaves to the seals and throw fish to the giraffes. Or you might go shopping and not know what things you need and what you don't need. You might buy anything. Or people in a factory might not have the information on how to make a car and make it completely wrong. People definitely need the right information to know what to do. OK. That's worked out the first part of the puzzler's puzzle. Oh, so you've worked it out, have you? OK, four, just tell me, do. The waitress and the teacher need information to help them do the right thing. Correct. Oh, now here's challenge number two. How can the waitress know what to do? <laughs> Anybody? Any ideas? How can the waitress remember what food to give to people? Maybe she could write it down. Great idea. Trouble is... <laughs> the puzzler's bubbled her pad and pencil. Is there any other way she could remember what food is needed? Maybe she could use the bits of the menu. Yes! Use the little pictures of the food to remind her what food to bring. That's what we need to tell her. I'll get the brain game machine going. We've got to make sure she can remember the information she needs. Use pictures of food to remember the information. Use the little pictures to remember the information. She's going to get the orders. The boy wants a pizza. 
The girl wants spaghetti. And their dad wants pizza too. Oh, yes. She knows she needs two pizzas and one spaghetti. The waitress has got the information she needs to bring the right food. You'd better go and sort the teacher. OK. How's the teacher getting on? Oh, dear. Not very well. Is there anything she could use to show who wants what? I wonder, is there anything she could do with these cards? I'm sure they could be used somehow. Some of them are round. Some of them are rectangular. That reminds me of something. I know. The teacher could use the cards for voting. How? The ones who want football can show a round card. Putting it on screen. A round card means you want football. And the ones who want television can vote with a rectangular card. A rectangular card means you want television. Brilliant. Let's send them the idea. Use cards to show what you want to do. Use cards to vote. She's getting things sorted. She's going to get the information. They're going to vote. That's one vote for television. And one vote for football. Who's going to win? So we've got a record of what everyone wants. And as you can see, there are more votes for football. The teacher has the information yes. she needs. And the ones who wanted television don't mind, because they can see for themselves there's more votes for football. We've beaten the Puzzlers Challenge. Oh, once again you're out of trouble. So off I go, me and my bubbles. <laughs> Come back now, Four. One, two, three, four! Well done, Four. Managed to beat the puzzler again. All thanks to having the right information. And it's all on screen. what food the people had ordered. She didn't have the information. And the teacher didn't know what was more popular, football or television. But the waitress kept a record of what food was needed by using little pictures of food. And the children made a record of what they wanted by voting for it. Football got the most votes. And that's how we beat the puzzler. Hi, Six. We've been having a go on the jump pad. I bet you can't work out which of us has had the most goes. Well, I'll try. I think I can work it out. Can you see from the record who has had the most goes? And who has had only one go? And who should go next? And then maybe you could make your own record of something that you do. And call the number jacks. What do you want, Puzzler? Time to play a little game. Today, the problems aren't the same. We know that. Each problem is a different kind, and there are three things you must find. What is the problem? How to fix it? And then just check that you have fixed it. We can do that. You cannot say it's all correct until you've said what, how, check. <laughs> say what's the problem? How to fix it? Then check we have. We can do that. Got the boy and his strange breakfast. What sort of problem is it? He's got lots of balls but one cornflake. He's got the wrong number of things. That's what the problem is. A number problem. We can fix it with brain game. Brain gain, brain gain to sort the problem. Use our brains. No way to get your brains all linking up together. Join up thinking. Getting brain power now. Brain gain. 
We'll make it one bowl. And 50 cornflakes. That's how we'll solve it. One bowl. One bowl. 50 cornflakes. I don't think that's enough. 50 more cornflakes! Did the trick! Great! Next problem, the ladies' hat and shoes. I'm on my way. The ladies on screen. What's the problem here? She's got the right number of things. One hat and two shoes. They're too big or too small. The wrong size. This is a size problem. How are you going to fix it? Make the hat smaller and the shoes bigger. Hat smaller, shoes bigger. Ooh. OK, off to sort the man. Going off? Oh, no, you're not, because there's something you forgot. We've sorted out the problems with the boy and with the lady. You did just what I'd expect. You did the jobs, but never checked. Oh, no! Got the boy on screen. We said 50 more cornflakes and didn't tell the brain game to stop. OK, we need 100 cornflakes. A hundred and no more! That sorted it. You sure? Checking. Yes, the right number of conflicts. Check. Here's something else you didn't check. You've made this lady's life a wreck. Oh no! What went wrong this time? We said get bigger to the zoos, but we didn't say when to stop. We said to make the hat smaller, but we didn't stop that either. The hat needs to fit the lady's head. And the shoes need to fit her feet. Hat fits head, shoes fit feet. Yes, they look the right size. Check. OK. What? How? Check. If we don't remember the magic words, anything could happen. What sort of problem is eight spiders with one leg? A number problem. How to fix it? Make it one spider and eight legs. And check. Right number of legs for a spider. Problem solved. What's the problem? Wrong size basket. How to fix it? Make the basket bigger. Check. Basket big enough. Problem solved. The house was here. Now it's here. What is the problem? Wrong place. How to fix it? Right place. Check. House in right place. Problem solved. Got to remember. What? How? Check. But for man. What's the problem? It's a place problem. Those trousers are in the wrong place. And so is he. And so is his sandwich. How do we solve it? Put everything in the right place at once. Especially his trousers. And check. Everything in the right place. Problem solved. Come back now, Five. No, there's still a problem. The puzzler. I've had enough of being one. Now no, I can I have, have two, two lots of fun. Whoa. And we've, and we've won one more small, small surprise. surprise. How do you How like, do you like us? us? Super surprise! And here's, and here's a little, a little something, something for, for you. you. Watch, Watch out, Five. five. We're, We're coming, coming for, for you. you. No! Quick, what have we got here? The wrong number of puzzlers. And they're the wrong size. 
and we don't want them in this place. One puzzler. Oh. Very small. Well, hey, that was a big surprise. And different place. Guess it's time I said bye bye. Are you sure he's gone, Five? Check. He's gone. Then come on back. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Didn't like two puzzlers. That was weird. And we've got them both on screen. The boy had the wrong number of balls and cornflakes. And the lady had the wrong size of hat and shoes. And the man's lunch was in the wrong place. And so was the man. The puzzler said we had to say, what, how, check. Check. Got the size right. Check. And got the place right. Check. And sorted the puzzler. Size and place. Check. check. Yeah. Think of the three words, how, what, check, and see if you can find your own problem. A number problem. Or a size problem. Or a place problem. And call the number jacks. Hooray! So we know what the problem is. But we don't know what caused it. I'm sure we'll find out. Well, we've certainly found something. I'm the puzzler, look at me. You might learn from what you see. We're looking. Get ready for a strange surprise. Watch my mouth and nose and eyes. Everything in its right place inside the circle of my face. Now this is a strange thing to do. But maybe somehow it's a clue. It's a bit of a hard clue. Here's where things were found before. But now I've moved them. That's for sure! See you later. The puzzler has made things on his face go outside. And that's making everything else go outside instead of inside. Like the man and his car. He's trying to get in his car. Oh no! He wants to get inside and go home, but he keeps popping out. we got to help this man. And if we don't solve this problem, anything could happen. As well as your tongue, your teeth might pop out and chase you. And when you're warm and cosy in bed, you might get popped out of bed. And your whole bedroom might be popped outside. <laughs> Let's sort this problem out. Oh, no, you can't. <sighs> oh, no. It's a puzzle bubble. What do we know about the puzzler and bubbles? I'm searching for info on the puzzler. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. The puzzler, the puzzler, he's got a twist in mind. His bubbles in trouble. If you get trapped inside, you better stop thinking. If the puzzler has caught you, because if you can sort the puzzle out, the puzzler will sort you. Three and five are trapped inside the puzzle bubble. Who did this? Well, who did this? Now let me see. Oh, I remember. It was me! And now, my friends, you are in trouble. You're trapped inside my puzzle bubble. We're not scared of you, puzzle bubble. Aren't we? Tell us your puzzle and we'll soon burst your bubble. I hope your brains are working well. Will you succeed? Well, time will tell.
Look at these numbers. You will see we're missing one. What can it be? Work it out and then tell me or never ever will you go free. Come on. What number goes in the middle? I don't know. What number? What number? Don't panic. We need some help. Agent's ringing in. Look at it carefully. Look at the puzzle one bit at a time. What are the numbers on each line? Don't let the puzzle worry you, but be quick. I have to hurry you. Quick! In in the top line, there's a 1 and a 2 and a 3. And in the bottom line, there's a 3, a 1 and a 2. All the numbers as well. So what's missing in the middle line? I know. Hey, Mr. Puzzler. Yes? Yeah, um, I know what it's got to be. That number's three. That number's me. That's better. Another of my puzzles is solved. So till next time I'll say so long. What a very strange person. You can come back now, three and five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Well done, three and five. You sorted the problems out. And the puzzler. Remember for next time. Those pens are a bit silly. <clears throat> so was I. Well, that man was very silly. Everything that should be inside was outside. <laughs> Could be a whole new look. Oh, that puzzler was a bit scary. And we were stuck in a puzzle bubble. But we sorted him out. There was a three missing from the middle line. Not the line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did the trick. Not everything sorted in this place. Oh no! You said you'd tidy it up. Oh! Outside, back, inside! Hooray! Okay, agents. Keep your eyes open for things that are inside something else. How many different things can you find? Any problems? Call the number, Jack. Puzzler! Well, hello there, number six. Here's a problem for you to fix. I'm making things go big or small. They cover too much or not much at all. <laughs> We've got a problem. Yes, with the puzzler, anything could happen. <coughs> if you had a lid on a box, it might get much too small or much too huge. Or you might put a stamp on a postcard and the stamp becomes so small the postman wouldn't see it. Or so big the postman couldn't carry it. Or you might be sticking a sticker in a book and the sticker gets tiny. Or it gets so huge it sticks you to the book. That puzzler has got to be stopped. Six is on his way. Puzzler. You've got to stop changing the size of things. I will agree to your request, if you can pass my little test. <laughs> Two sheets of paper. What's your call? Which one's bigger? Which one's small? That's easy. You can see which one's bigger. You can't just say. You have to show. <laughs> Or here's my bubble, and in you'll go! Oh no! How do we show which shape is bigger? A 
Agents, any ideas? Agent 99 here. You can put them close together so you can see which is bigger. Or even better, put one on top of the other. That sounds good. Six, we're sending you Brain Game to help. Let's do it! Brain Game, Brain Game To solve the problem, use our brain A way to get your brains all linking up together Join up thinking Getting Brain Power now! Brain Game! Sending Brain Game to show which sheet of paper is bigger Sending Brain Game! OK, Puzzler, we'll show which is bigger. If the red sheet is bigger, it will cover the blue one. It doesn't. But if I put the blue one on top, it does cover the red one. The blue is bigger, and we've shown it. Oh, all right then, I suppose so. But how about those, though? Oh, it's much harder to say which is bigger. Neither of them completely covers the other one. We can't show which is bigger. If you don't, I'll cause more trouble, and you'll end up inside my bubble! <laughs> How can we show which is bigger? Any ideas? You need something to measure the shapes. What could measure those shapes? I wish I had my buddy tiles with me. Maybe you could use some other shapes from the display. Yes, I could use them like my buddy tiles. Lots of shapes, their size the same. OK then, Six, let's play the game. Yes, Puzzler, these shapes are all the same size. And I need... One, two, three tiles to cover the blue shape. Hmm. Now the red shape. One, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. So the red shape is bigger, because it needs more tiles. Hooray! Well, my friend, I like your style, measuring with your same size tiles. But measuring these will wipe your smile. They're really hard to measure. You can do it, Six. OK, then. We need... One, two, three, four tiles to cover the red shape. And one, two, three, four, five tiles to cover the blue shape. So, the blue shape needs more tiles, so it's bigger. And we've shown it. Huh. That sorted you out, Puzzler. A number who knows how to measure. Hmm, it almost gives the Puzzler pleasure. You've shown the things you had to show, and now it's time for me to go. <laughs> Don't forget to put things back to normal, Six. Here's some brain game to help. <laughs> Come back now, Six. Checking the room. Six. Everyone helped. You showed that puzzler he can't beat the number jacks. And we've got it all on screen. The girl's bed cover was too small. 
and then it was too big. The teacher was covering the table, but it was too small. Then it was much too huge. It was that mean old puzzler making trouble. We showed which shape was bigger. The blue one covered the red one, so it was bigger. The yellow tiles measured those shapes. Three tiles for the blue shape. Four tiles for the red shape. Bigger. And those shapes. Four tiles cover the red shape. But five tiles needed to cover the blue one, so it was bigger. And that sorted the puzzler. Hooray! <laughs> I can do it! I can do it! Brilliant, Five. Buddy tiles are great for flying on. And even better for measuring, even if sometimes they try to measure the wrong thing. <laughs> you can't measure me! I'm not flat enough! I'm a ticklish! <laughs> Why don't you do some measuring? Find something flat to measure and use cards or dominoes and see how many you need. Find out and call the number jacks. If the puzzler's making things change from one to two to three, anything could happen. You might be walking along with a bag on your back and it would become two bags, then three really heavy bags. Or you might mm. have a bowl of lovely soup and it becomes two bowls of not very nice soup or three bowls of horrible soup. Or you might have a dream about one scary monster and it becomes two scary monsters or three monsters. Ooh. Someone's got to stop that puzzler. Here I am. Yeah! I'm causing trouble. Watch out, three. Here comes my bubble. Come on, three. Come on. Run. Oh, watch out! The bubble's catching up! Oh no, she's been chased into the pattern place! Oh no! I don't like this place! I want to get out! Well, maybe I will let that happen if you can find the special pattern. Find the pattern, it's one, two, three, but you are not allowed to see. That's not fair. How can I find a pattern if I can't see? Ha 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 ha. You're mean. Ha 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 ha. Eddie, want to sit here? Maybe it's not looking. You have to do. Maybe you've got to listen. Yes. Listen to find the pattern. One laugh, then two, then three. Next. Nine squares for us to fill in. Oh, no. If I get most squares, then I will win. Three might need some help. Nine squares. Get number nine, quick! I'll find her. I'll go first. Why? Cause I want to, and my numbers are one, two. Then I'll say three. Yes! I found nine. What are you doing? I've just made sure this cat has got all its nine lives. Three needs you. Three, I'm on my way. Well now, three, how did you do? You've got one square, but I've got two. Now what goes here? Can you predict? What is the number you should pick? Uh, uh, it's four! It's four! Yeah, four. Uh, Too slow, it's four. One more to me, and I'll have five. You're losing three. I can fill in the next square. We've had one, two, three. She's panicking. Four, five. Six, six. Six. Yes. 
Now I've got four squares. Whoopity woo. Dear me, three, that will not do. Now which square shall I fill in? Cause I need just one square to win. We've got to win all the rest. What's the next number going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got to be seven. It's seven. Oh, you're so clever, to be sure. But I need just one square more. It's, it's eight, 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 eight. It's eight, eight. It's four squares each. Ooh, the excitement's at its peak. But now, young three, you cannot speak. Oh, no! What number is it? Nine! 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 Sorry, three, I'm afraid you're mumbling. So sorry how your cookie's crumbling. The number is nine. Don't you forget it. Seven, eight, nine. We've got more squares and we've won. Hooray! Boo, boo hoo, boo hoo hoo. Come back now, three and nine. Yes, please. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done, three. Nine saved me. We've got it on screen. One, two, three hats. Then the same pattern with the balls. And the hammers. It was all that puzzler's fault. And he chased me into the pattern place. Uh, there were one, uh, two, uh, three uh, laughs. Uh, uh, and then the number puzzle. The puzzler nearly won. Lucky I called for nine. Only too happy to help. Watch me, nine. I'm watching. This time, we're going to do it. One, two, three, yes! Excellent work, one, two and three. And your buddy blocks. I wonder if we could do all the numbers from zero to nine. Well, can you out there find something that is like the puzzler's number square? With a square of numbers, one to nine? Try to find something and call the number jack. Why are there seven of everything? We've got to think. I'll tell you, shall I? Save you the trouble. Seven is trapped inside my bubble. Oh, no! Help! Help! Oh, no! Solve this puzzle, or there she stays. What? What is the puzzle? You must make seven two different ways. Make seven two different ways? I can't even make seven one way. You can make seven with a bit of brain game from me. What does three mean? How can she help me to make seven? I'm three. And you're four. So together, we make seven. Sending more brain games. Three and four make seven. Hmm, seems you've got a bit of brain. You've made seven once, now do it again. Quick, another way of making seven. What about the mopping things? That was one and six more make seven. Come on, one. We've got some brain game to send. One. And six. Make seven. Sending more brain game.
One and six make seven. Oh, thanks, everyone. Well, there we are. We had such fun. Oh, yeah. Fun. Now everything goes back to one. And all the things that were three more. All those things go back to four. Curses! Another of my puzzles solved. So till next time I'll say... So long. Come on back, Four. Thanks, Four. I'm off doing my painting job. See you later. That was a bit of an adventure. We got it all on screen. That car started it all. Three extra wheels to make it seven. But not as funny as the man with the mops and everyone. That was crazy. All those things making seven. And here's trouble. The puzzler. He's a bit scary. And it was a tricky puzzle. Two ways to make seven. We did it though. Three and four make seven. One and six make seven. Yeah! <laughs> Luckily, we only had to find two ways of adding up to seven. Yeah, we'd never have found another way of adding up to seven. Hard enough to remember two ways of adding up to seven. Yes, thank you, Dice. I can see three spots. That's funny. I can see four spots on this side. Weird. Three and four, two numbers that make seven. On opposite sides of the dice. I bet the dice couldn't tell you the other numbers that make seven, though. Well, I don't know. You better check that out. Can a dice help you find three different ways of adding up to seven? Check it out. And call the number, Jack. Oh, that puzzler! There were four things that once were full. Bottle, tub, sand pit bowl. Some held more and some held less. Put them in order. That's your test. Wow, that's tricky. How do we put the things in order? You've got to know which one holds the biggest amount. And which one holds the smallest amount and which ones come in between let's fill them up again see how much it takes to fill them i'll get the brain game going <laughs> brain game brain game to solve the problem use our brain a way to get your brains all linking up together join up thinking getting brain power now brain game machines ready Fill them up! Everything filled up so quickly we couldn't tell which holds the most. Or which holds the least. So we can't put them in order and solve the puzzle. While my problem gives you trouble, three stays trapped inside my bubble. Help! But I feel kind today, and so I'll give you all just one more go. We've only got one more chance to rescue three. How can we work it out? Fill up bit by bit, so how many bits you need. Right. The more jumps of brain gain I have to do, the more the thing holds. I'll keep count of the jumps. OK, five. Start with the bottle. Fire away. One. Two. That's full. The bottle took two jumps of brain gain to fill. The ice cream tub next. One, two, three, four, full. Took four. Ready for the bowl. One. That's full. 
Now the sand pit. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to take loads. 19, 20, 21, 39, 40, 55, 56, 55, 76, 77, 78, 79, 99, 100, full. Well done. <sighs> Well, the sand pit definitely took the most jumps. A hundred! So that's the biggest. The ice cream tub took four jumps. So that's next. The bottle took two jumps. And the bowl took just one jump. So that's the smallest. So the order is... Bowl smallest, then bottle, then tub, then sand pit. Definitely the biggest! Puzzle solved. You win. And so... Three is free, and off I go. But I'll be back. Are you all right, Three? I think so. Don't worry, you're safe now. Come back now, Three and Five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four, five! Good to be back. You should have stayed close to five. I know. I won't do it again. Sorry. Never mind. We sorted that puzzler out, didn't we? On the screen now. The bottle was full, then empty. Same with the sand pit. And the ice cream tub. It was that puzzler. Up to no good. Three went off on her own. And the puzzler bubbled me. His puzzle was quite tricky. The things that needed most brain gain held the most. One for the bowl. Two for the bottle. Four for the ice cream tub. And a hundred for the sand pit. We got them all in order. And the puzzler had to let three go. Safe at last. So whatever happens, you don't go wandering off by yourselves. I don't think my body blocks would go off on their own. Especially since I got them their new home. New home? Yes, look. That's much cosier, isn't it? They fill it right to the top. What's the smallest thing that gets filled up in your home? And what's the biggest? Find out and call the number jacks. You've done quite well, I suppose it's true. But I've got one more puzzle for you. Can you guess what people will do when it's red, red, blue, red, red, blue? It's ringing in. If the pattern changes, what people do will change. Red, red, blue, red, red, blue. That's how they'll do things. Two of one thing, then one of the other. Final answer? Well, let's see if that is what the pattern will be. Red, red, blue, knife, knife, fork. What will the cuckoo clock do? Red, red, blue. <laughs> OK, Puzzler, are you happy now? There's one more game for you to play, but first you must turn your face away. Let's add a little mystery. I move the pieces, but you can't see. Check what people do, and then tell me, in what pattern must the pieces be? Everyone look at what's happening and see what the pattern is. Knife, knife, fork, fork. Five. The pattern is two of one thing and two of the other thing. OK. So let me think. What will the pattern pieces be? It's two of one and another two. Red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Indeed, that's true. Two reds, two blues is what they do. But not anymore. We're putting things back to normal once and for all. Brain game, back to normal! <laughs>
Red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Knife, then a fork. Knife, then fork. You number jacks, you are a pain. You've gone and beaten me again. Yes, you've lost, so off you go. I'll be back again, you know. <laughs> yes! Now come back, five. All clear for landing. One, two, three, four. Well done, Five! Well done, all of us! Check it out on screen! That boy couldn't walk properly! And things weren't going well in the cafe. And it was the puzzler causing all the trouble. That was a weird place. There are the pattern pieces, making things go wrong. We sorted them out again, but we had more puzzles to solve. We knew what people would do when the pattern pieces changed. And then we worked out the pattern by watching what people did. And we beat the puzzler! Hooray! Would you like another game for? That depends. Are we taking turns properly? I think a good pattern for our game would be pink, 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 blue. And I'll be pink. I don't think so. Look. Oh! To make sure we don't get it wrong, the buddy blocks have made the pattern. We take turns. Fair enough. Let's do it. Glad that buddy block pattern sorted things out. And can you find a pattern like the buddy blocks? Two colours taking turns? If you can, or any problems, call the number jack. Yes, your friend Nine's inside my bubble. You've captured Nine? Where is she? Tell us! I won't tell you until I see. Not six and three, but three, three and three. <laughs> well, I'm three. But I'm six. How can we be three, three and three? Sending out an alert. How can three and six become three, three and three? Anyone who can help us, call in now. Hurry! Agents calling in. You need three threes. Three is the first one. Six has got to change into the other two threes. Can he do that? Yes, your number is buddy blocks. I'll rerun that on screen. Yes, that's six buddy blocks turning into two lots of three. Six can do it. Six, we've got some good news and some bad news. What is it? We know how to solve the puzzle. Good. And the bad news? You've got to turn into two threes. What? You've got to do it. We'll send you Brain Game to help. OK. If it's got to be done, I, number six, will become two number threes. You'll love it. Brain Game, Brain Game, to solve the problem, use our brain. Your ways and get your brains all linking up together, joined up thinking. Getting brain power now, Brain Game! Six makes two threes. Brain Game coming! Six makes two threes. Ah! Wow! You look... different. We feel different. Yes, we do. Oh, hello, three and three and three. What exactly do you need from me? Tell us where nine is, or there'll be trouble. Number nine's here. Help! Help! Trapped in my bubble. 
My friends, she stays in there till nine small squares make one big square. Anyone got any information about squares? A square is this shape. All the sides are the same length. Checking the napkins. They're square. All the sides are the same length. You need to get to the cafe. We're on our way. Let's hope they can make them into one big square. There's nine napkins. How can we make them into one big square? Remember the buddy blocks. I think I've got a picture. Yes, that's one big square. Three lots of three. Do it with the napkins. Three rows of three. Make that square. I'll do one row. I'll do the second row. I'll do the bottom row. That's nine small squares. Three rows of three makes one big square. Oh, well done, three and three and three. You've made a square and beaten me. So, as I promised, nine goes free. That's better. But I'll be back. <laughs> and things are going back to normal. Yeah! yeah! Come back now, all of you. One thing to do first. Definitely. Two threes make a six. Two threes make six. Yeah! Come on back now, all of you. Everyone. You can see it all on screen. The boy had three things, then nine. The waitress had trouble, and the lady. It was all that puzzler's fault. And I had a very strange thing to do. Six becoming two threes. We had to make a big square. You rescued me. Thank you. And everything went back to normal. Would your body blocks like another ride three? Yes, please. And my body blocks can join in too. Let's go. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, two big squares. I wonder, is there any other number of body blocks that could be made into a square? Find out. Or any problems? Contact the number jacks. <laughs>